Hello, it's me, Arizu Gaming. I'm back. It's Thursday, and we're starting a new run in Oxygen Not Included. We are doing Oasis. 
and we are doing ban list oasis where discord has voted on things to ban me from doing in the game mostly exploits and things of that nature so i'll go through all of that once we actually start just to summarize what discord have voted on i may do a second round of voting at some point um now that we've actually started the run but i wanted to have a decent amount of votes collected for the beginning when we're trying to set up some ground rules but yes we're doing oasis and certain exploits are not allowed hope you're doing well vayflower hello dr dangerous you may you may have missed a vote um basically um, i might as well actually while i'm here let's go over to discord quickly so i had a room open in discord where we have been voting on various things about whether they're going to be allowed in this only run or not because i wanted to see how i could do without some of the usual tricks and there's always a lot of discussion about what is an exploit and what isn't an exploit in Oni. So I wanted to do a run like this, but I thought there's no way I can come up with an objective conclusion about what is an, an exploit to you guys. So I thought the best way to do it was to have people vote on it. And I'm allowed a vote to join in as well. And generally there was some pretty good consensus. Um, so I'll summarize this list once we're actually in the game. But yes, there's a few, there's one or two things I thought were a bit weird didn't actually get banned. <laughs> but uh yes let us let us actually begin the game uh we're gonna do this on a random oasis seed well not well maybe not a random oasis seed but like not one that i picked out in advance i'm gonna do it on survival mode uh classic i'm gonna do oasis so <clears throat> what is interesting about an oasis asteroid the whole surrounding of the map is filled with like hot sand biomes that aren't insulated from your main starting forest biome so you've got to deal with the heat ingress right away otherwise you're going to have real problems and considering some of the exploits that have been banned this might be a bit more complicated than usual <laughs> someone did someone did nominate uh actually just straight up banning insulated tiles i didn't think insulated tiles were actually an exploit i thought that was just a, a feature of the game they intend for you to use for things like this so i decided not to ban that but yeah um yeah let's just jump in i don't want to do slime molds slime molds suck let's thanks let's for see. the raid ah hello the bad guy how are you we are just starting our new run ban list oni <laughs> ban list oasis where discord has decided to ban me from doing certain things certain exploits that are frequently used and may or may not actually be exploits <laughs> hello sinister plank hope you're doing well you love oasis me too i did an oasis i did oasis ages ago uh before i started streaming and i had a lot of fun with it so i, I wanted to do an oasis run on on stream for a while and see how that goes it's your, it's your favorite classic map i like it a lot it teaches you a lot of good lessons that are useful for future runs. Because, like, if you don't do them in, in Oasis, you won't survive. And it's it gives you, like, sort of good practices to fall back on in future runs on more normal maps. So I would def definitely recommend giving Oasis a try. Hello, XD Got Creeper. Hope you're doing well. You love it because it robs you of your usual cop-outs. Yes, exactly. So, <clears throat> now, this is the second... See, the first one had slime molds. I didn't really feel like doing slime molds because slime lung is just annoying. Um, this one does have large glaciers on it. So that might help a little bit. It has mixed boulders. There's not anything else unusual going with this seed. So I'm tempted to go with this. But I will I will give chat the opportunity to veto this if they want me to re-roll. You're going to dope large glaciers? Yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. I just wanted someone to say no. That that would that seems like it would go against the um, the theme of the run. I don't I I I'm vetoing slime molds. You guys can veto large glaciers. Okay, here's one. So this is alternate pod location, crash satellites, metallic caves, trapped oil. I feel like this is fair. There's no like immediate like get out of jail free clause. Satellites are too easy. It is a lot of radiation, but I mean. We can get radiation normally anyways. I think I think this is fine. I don't think 
<laughs> I don't think we're going to leverage it into making the run um, too easy in the ways where it would feel cheap. <laughs> Satellites versus band stuff is good. Or an S site that's difficult to manage. <laughs> yeah, just ask the, the dupe that we um, irradiated on the previous run. Yeah. My voice is feeling a little bit better now. I'm still still coughing because no infinite radiation storage. Yeah, that's true. We're not allowed any infinite storages. Right, game settings. I did ask YouTube about whether to do max difficulty and that sort of stuff, and they all voted for the ban list approach over this. So we are just doing normal difficulty with teleporters this run. We will do a max difficulty run at some point, but not, but not this run. So uh, yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go. <laughs> Satellites just make the good stuff a bit faster, but the bad stuff more. I favor normal difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I do want to try a max difficulty run, but after our Boreal Airheads, I kind of don't really fancy a restriction like that. I'd rather have it be a more mechanical restriction. Yes, hopefully I'm not coughing everywhere today. If my voice fades in and out a little bit, it's because my throat still isn't 100% back to normal. Also, we've given the dupes new outfits for this run. Uh, because uh, I felt like it. <laughs> they're, uh, they're naughty dupes. They're, they're wearing their um, suspicious outfits because uh, they've been getting into trouble. Right. Um, let's see. We do have the duplicate stat selector thing here, so we can customize these three guys to begin with. I don't want to customize them too much, but we will. We will definitely go for Digger. We will definitely go for a Researcher. And I think I'm just going to go for a Dedicated Builder as well. Let's start by rolling them and then we'll see if we if we get something. I, I think I would like to give the Researcher the ranching skill. I think that's what I'd like to do. Yeah, I'm often very tempted to get a Rancher. Hey, Ferrofrost, you're first. You're definitely first. Don't let anyone else say otherwise. Hope you're doing well. We are starting a new run. Should I use Weeze Warts to cool hydrogen from a vent? Weeze Warts are pretty good. Uh, it, in, it depends if you're playing Classic or Spaced Out. In Classic, the cooling is significant and you get more Weeze Warts. So that's not a bad idea. Um, in Spaced Out, they're more useful for the radiation. But you can put them near the vent. Just make sure that you're using the radiation that comes from the... From the Weeze Warts. You're finding here at the start of a run. Yes, I'm excited. It's been a while since we actually started the new run. We did do the Gold Includer Challenge at Christmas with the skewed asteroid, but that didn't end up being much of a challenge, so so we uh, stopped doing that fairly quickly. The first digger is Sinister, Sinister Plank. Okay, uh, let's actually start the rolling. You know what? I'll take that. Eleven digging, diver's lungs, bottomless uh, bottomless stomach, decreased calories. I don't think calories is going to be too much of an issue. I'm willing to take this. I think the air for the calories is a good idea. You'll take a gene. There you go. So, Sinister Plank. There you go. Wearing a very sinister outfit. We'll keep this dupe. You're playing on Classic Asteroid with the spaced out. Nice. Nice. I hope I can see you doing this a lot more and then you can read my sharing messages at the start of this stream four times. Yes, I'm trying to pay attention to chat. Indeed. Spammy. <laughs> I am trying. I don't think I missed anything yet. Okay. Right. What are we doing for our researcher? Let's see. Diver's lungs anemic. Am I really going to go for an anemic researcher at the start? I mean... The thing is, obviously anemic's really bad because they're not going to run around very fast. And if they get irritated eyes then they can very quickly they can very quickly uh, have issues, so I don't think we're going to go for anemic. Let's just try rolling another one. Um, yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty good. Caregiver, I suppose. I suppose doctoring might be relevant at the start of this run. Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes, there is a channel points reward you have to redeem for naming a dupe. It is 1,000 points. It is the rename something command with the triplicate on it. You redeem that. I will I will rename the dupe of your choice or whatever else you feel like renaming. That's not an issue either. Hello, user. Hope you're doing well. 
We are starting new only run today. Yes, yeah, so we've got nails. I'm gonna I'm gonna redeem this. I'm gonna rename nails. Ah, okay, they flowers redeem nails. Okay, that's fine. No, no worries. You wanna be nails, so I'm just going to call nails they flower then. Here you go. Yeah, no worries. I was going to name them Sombra. They remind me of Sombra from Overwatch. <laughs> That's the vibe I get with the purple highlights and the, the, the hairstyle. Yeah. Okay, and then let's see. What is our builder going to look like? Don't want any mouth breathers, really. Oh, I want I want someone to actually have Critter Ranching 1. We are going to modify these starting dupes, but we're going to make sure the attribute points... Um, line up properly. So let's give them... Let's give them the Critter Ranching 1 skill. Just so we don't have to rely on finding a guy. And then do I want to give them a downside as well? Maybe. <laughs> Narcoleptic? You know what? I'll give them Narcoleptic. There we go. The Hermit, that's a tough one to time. Yeah, yeah, because you don't start with access to the Hermit. You have to find him on the map. Also, I didn't actually check the story traits. We'll just we'll just see what happens with the story traits when we uh, do them. Okay. So now we've, we've given them Critter Ranching 1 and Archaleptic and they've got the corresponding amount of attribute points. So that's fine. That's what I really like about this Duplicate Stats mod. Um, it lets you customize your dupes, but in a way that's fair and what the game would actually generate. Which is, which is nice. Uh, like where does the where does the guy need to walk to? It's more that if they get caught out by gases, which might happen because of what we've restricted, their athletics will drop to like negative nine, and then they won't be able to move anywhere, like to the bathroom and stuff. So I really don't want anemic on this run, even though I normally would do anemic in this case. I probably would go for it if it was like a normal run. And then the builder. Do I want to get the builder mechatronics? Maybe. We probably are going to do a lot of ranching. I'm thinking either hatches or pips to start. I'm very tempted to do a lot of pip planting of trees to try and survive. So I think we do give this guy mechatronics, Nicola. And then let's give them a sufficient downside as well. So skilled mechatronics. Hey Techrock, hope you're doing well. New, t new only time. We are doing a run. Uh, let's see. We've already given someone bottomless. I don't want to give someone else bottomless. Did I give them unconstructed? No. <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, let's see. Trypophobia would would be annoying. I don't want to go for Farta for the reasons we've discussed. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's get let's do another bottomless stomach, and then we've got four dupes worth of food. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we've got our builder, we've got um, our digger, and we've got our researcher with the research. You shouldn't choose the traits like that because they have weight values. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean the. The, get, the mod here does balance the attribute values. Hello, almost Emily. I hope you're doing well. I think this is fine. I don't think this is... I don't think this is unbalanced compared to what we could roll. So I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna stay with this. I'm doing well. My recent review of Tars Principle 2 has been interesting. Ah. Yes, I haven't played that game. Take. So, You'll take bottomless for a mechatronics builder. Yeah, fair enough. And it's only the first three, uh, three dupes. Yes, that's true. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do this for any other dupes. Uh, we're only doing it for these three to start with because they're the most important. And because we can we could literally re-roll these guys forever before we start the game. And we can do this just fine. I'm not going to customize any future dupes. Bottomless and Thanks mouth breather is worth three mechatronics at the start. We, yeah, but we just had a mouth breathers run. Otherwise, I probably would have considered it. But I want to. I want to go for a bit of variety. But yes, I I can understand that. Thank you very much for the follow, Alba 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 Sixid. Um, 
if that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> Thanks for the rain. Enjoy, enjoy the oni. Enjoy the fish. Enjoy the frogs. Hello, Max. How are you doing? <laughs> New oni run. I haven't started yet. We are doing ban list oasis. So we are playing oasis and chat. Uh, well, Discord has banned me from doing certain exploits, uh, which I will talk about in a minute. Just before I go, can you tell me the name of the mod as well as how the mod deals with the weight trait thing? Yes. Yes, that is important. Uh, it is on this list, Duplicant Stat Selector. That is the name of the mod in Steam Workshop. It is very good, and I'm pretty sure the make... I, who's made that mod? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me check this. Let me check who's made this mod. Because I want to give them proper credit. Because it's a good mod. You don't use the mod, but I also don't stream. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It's like... It's nice to mix things up for you guys. Um, yes, this was done by Sergeant Imelis, who is frequently in the stream and makes lots of excellent... Makes lots of excellent mods for Oni. So yes, oh, feel free to have a look at that. You spend 30 minutes rolling dupes. Oh, I've done that as well. I enjoy just rolling the dupes. That is absolutely fine. Yes, how have you been, Max? How has, um, have you been playing Cult of the Lamb? Is that what you've been up to? I was going to write a positive review, but their patches changed my mind. Oh, uh, that's fair enough. You enjoy rolling dupes, and I enjoy watching dupe rolling, but most people don't want to watch that. Yeah, fair enough. Hold on. Also, I'm banned from making oxygen from boiling polluted water. Oh, we'll see about that. And then you have an excellent dupe by accidentally roll again. Yeah, I've done that a lot. Yeah. Roll past the perfect good dupe. Anyways, what's the name of the colony? I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna name it something like... The Friends is the most generic name possible. See you later, Ferrofrost. I'm gonna name it Penal Colony. Because these guys are getting punished for my previous transgressions. That's why they're all wearing the, the, the sheer black outfits. <laughs> it's gonna be the Penal Colony. Alright, I think we're done. Okay, let's actually begin. Ooh. <laughs> the Manic Madness. Alright, here we are. Oasis. The asteroid we call home has collided with an anomalous planet decimating our colony. Rebuilding it is of the utmost importance. Um, they've detected... I've detected a new cluster of material-rich pathways in nearby space. I can guide my duplicates through the perils of space travel. We build a colony even bigger and better than before. And fairer, because there's no exploits. Apparently. Right. Hmm. The, the F in they flower is not capital. Ah, I see, yes. You are right. You do actually know how to spell your own name. That is something to consider. Right, so we have our three dupes. You went Oasis, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, so we will... I mean, we actually have alternate pod location. So look, there's already hot rock down here. And this isn't insulated, so we are in a little bit of a pickle. Hmm. Want to play along? Can you share the code? Yes, this is the seed. Uh, I will post that in chat now. I didn't actually look at the world traits, but that is the seed. And I'll post that on Discord as well. So that's posted in the Band Only Tricks thread on Discord. Right, so before we actually get too into this, I'm just going to actually add the ban list. So let's see. It's not the shine bug counter. That's not what we want. So I summarize this pretty well on the Discord. So hopefully I can just copy and paste this. And I don't know exactly where we're going to put that. Okay, that's, that's slightly too big. <laughs> okay, we'll make this a little bit smaller. Um, okay, no, that's not what we wanted. And I'll explain it in a sec. Select font. Maybe make it size 18. It's a bit too small. Size 24. Yeah, okay, that seems good. Right, I'm going to put this here for now. But these are basically what Discord voted on as reasonable restrictions for this run. Um, where they're allowed to ban things. These all received majority votes, including my vote. 
Looks like I'm playing a plank play. Ah, is that what it's called? Yeah, so no liquid locks. <laughs> We're not allowed to make our usual sort of tea locks or or otherwise manipulate liquids artificially to block off areas. <laughs> So we're going to have a lot of gas exchange issues. People frequently cite that as a exploit. Um, so I've decided to ban it from this run based on people's voting because I think it will be an interesting restriction. Tricked gas vents. So tricked gas vents are where you use liquids below the overpressure threshold of the gas vent at two, two kilograms per tile. Uh, and then gases can come out of those vents and the liquid stays there. And you can just infinitely pressurize a room with gas vents. So, or up to the liquid. Yeah, I think it does just work infinitely. So we're banning that. We're not allowed to do that. Um, what about random natural liquid locks? May you use those? I'm inclined to think maybe. Like, if I stumble across a natural liquid lock that I haven't made, I think I will use it. But I'm not allowed... To to manually make it. I don't think it's an exploit personally, but I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll be interesting to fundamentally try and avoid using them. But yes, it is a legitimate real world thing. You have a liquid lock in your toilet. That is very true. Like, I don't think it's really an exploit. Like, the magnitude to which liquid locks work based on gas pressures and stuff, the numbers don't really make sense in this game. But the fundamental principle of a liquid lock Makes sense. But yeah, I think I think if it's naturally generated, I'll probably use it. So submerged like I'm just gonna go through the list alphabetically. Um, so we'll go through all of that. Uh no submerged electrolyzers. So this is the trick I do where I have an electrolyzer and I partially submerge it with liquids, and then I can separate out the oxygen and the hydrogen mechanically, and it's super easy and they infinitely pressurize. So we're actually gonna try and do all of our oxygen either with oxyferns or with uh, the Rodriguez, because I've literally never built a Rodriguez build, like a full Rodriguez or half Rodriguez. We're going to try it out, because I've literally never done it. But we're going to start with Oxyferns, because it's a forest to start anyways. Hold on, hold on, chat is moving a mile a minute. Um, so yeah, um, Creeper, I will get to your comment in a sec. Put a million kilograms of natural gas in your toilet, yes, exactly, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. Um, the numbers in this game don't make sense with the real world, but they make sense and are consistent in the game world. I agree, which is why I'm mostly just deciding not to do it arbitrarily, because I think it'll be interesting. Proper Roddy is the best way to spawn. Ah, uh, no, I like my way. I like my way with the Hydro. Um, but we'll try, we'll try Rodriguez. And we'll probably do a lot of Rust-related stuff as well if we find it. Eniosa, how are you? I've got, I've got liquids. We're, we're alright, we're not cheating on liquids today. Yes. Super you run. Fluid <laughs> Thank you very much, Neosa. Appreciated. Yes, yeah, so we're doing a new run. It's Oasis, and Discord has banned me from doing certain things. And the list is to the left, right here. I'm just going through it at the moment before we actually start the run proper. So, no Escher waterfalls. Escher waterfalls are when liquids pour over gases in a certain way, where it lets you infinitely store the liquids. So no liquid infinite storage is based on that mechanism. If they happen in nature, I'm getting rid of them. I, I've used them a lot recently, and I think that's a perfectly valid thing for chat to want to ban, because compressing liquids infinitely is kind of wild. Uh, no liquid locks, we talked about that. No, <coughs> no self-cooled steam turbines. So this isn't, I don't think this is an exploit at all, but I thought it was an interesting restriction for the run that chat voted for. If we make any steam turbines, we're, we need to cool them with something other than just that exhaust liquid coming out of 95C. It's a little bit, I mean, it's a little bit cheesy. Like, I, I do it all the time. I'm mostly putting this on the list because I'm tired of how much I do it and I want to mix it up a little. No rocket chimneys. Um, this is a bit of a weird one. I, I've never built a rocket chimney. I've not actually gotten that far. Um, but that's basically launching and landing rockets continuously in a room to generate... Vast amounts of steam. That's what a rocket chimney is. Like, you dig a big chimney down the map, a very long one, you have a, a tiny little steam rocket that you fill with steam, and then you launch it. 
and then it fills the whole chamber with steam and there's way more exhaust mass than the amount of stuff you put in. And you can automate the rocket to just keep landing and refilling itself. So that's what a rocket chimney is. And I've never actually done it, so I'm a bit surprised that chat decided to ban it. But uh, we won't be doing that. No door crushing. We're going to try not to use doors to crush gas. It might happen accidentally just from us building normal things. But we're not going to build any mechanism to intentionally destroy gases by crushing them with doors. Um, destroying gases with building tiles on them, I think, is still fine and valid. So that's not banned. Just making a mechanical door crusher to automate it. Um, planter box glitching. So this is when you have a planter box. I'm not actually familiar with the glitch because I haven't really done it myself that much. But I think it's a way of tricking wild plants into producing their like actual domestic throughput um, by wild planting them with a pip in a planter box somehow. So we're not going to do that follow. either. Thank you very much for the follow, Sugar Daddy Bill. Enjoy your fish and frog related emotes. Um, we are going to start in a minute. But those are all of the restrictions that chat voted on that I agreed with for the run. Um, there were two that I didn't agree with. One was not using Atmos suits in the desert biome. I don't think that's an exploit. I think that's just intended behavior. We might end up trying not to do it anyways, but I'm not banning it outright. Um, and the other one was building insulated tiles. I think a few people wanted me to ban that, but that's not an exploit at all. That's an intended mechanic in the game. I think it would be silly not doing that for a whole run. Um, so we're going to do insulated tiles. Was natural tile glitching in that? No, nobody proposed that on the Discord. Um, what I will say is, um, feel free to go in the band only tricks bit on the Discord. We can get some more discussion going again about whether to add anything to this list, but I'm probably not going to do it for a while. I'll probably see if there's a big consensus to something, and then we'll add that later. Also, I typed in the wrong window. There you go. So that's where the Discord is. That's where people have been discussing these banned things. That's me. You have picked up this game recently. Break from competitive games. It's become my favorite game. Oh, yeah. It's my favorite game, too. The, so mechanically deep and satisfying to learn and play. No insulated tiles is not an exploit. It's just to make it more punishing. Yeah, I, like, I'm trying to go for things that aren't... I, I'm trying not to ban things that are just punishing for the sake of punishing. You've not tried Oasis, but I think I'm almost ready for this myself. Yeah, we'll see if I'm ready for this. I don't think any of these restrictions are actually going to come into play today. Because we're literally just starting off. So let's actually just set everyone's things. Although I am going to adjust the audio level slightly. There we go. <laughs> Planter box glitch is nice for Wii's planting. Yeah, that was, that was definitely a justified ban. Right, um, I'm going to set attacking to high priority. You can have it on very high. Life support up and down high priority as well. Do I normally do this? I think I do. Toggling, everyone will have that very high. Want to make sure that you're actually flipping switches when I ask you to. And then you can have researching. I think I'm going to ban you from researching. You could have higher building. You could have higher digging. I think I'm generally going to put these higher. And then I think we'll leave it on that for now. I'll give Nicola operating as well. Because we're probably going to need someone to run on the wheel for a bit. Um, also, um, in terms of achievements, there are the achievements. Um, we did... Um, one of the options on the YouTube poll was that I try and get super sustainable carnivore and locavore. But this was overwhelmingly voted with the ban list instead. So we're not going to focus on these achievements on this run. We're just going to try and do things... The, the, um, the normal way within these restrictions. Right. Also, I got another mod. I got the uh, I got the skill queue mod from Sergeant Imelis. We can queue up skill points for people and they'll take them automatically. Isn't that amazing? Very good mod. Yeah. Um, again, the list of only mods I have is here. It's not on there yet because I forgot to up update the command. <laughs> that is that. Right. Let's actually play some Oni. Let's just explore around for a bit first. Yeah, so dig over here. Dig over here. 
Um, don't dig the oxyfern. We'll leave that for now. But yeah, we need to see where all the water is. We need to see where the food is. We need to see where the heat is. But yes, apologies if I missed anything in chat. Um, I am trying to pay attention, but there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment. But yes, thank you very much, Raiders, uh, for your for your company. Now, where are we going to put the beds? Probably put the beds up high. Just I could just ladder up here. We're going to definitely want to drop this water down somewhere. So I think what I'll do is... I think this will be where we end this room. So door there, ladder here. We'll let that go up. Yeah, let's just see where all the heat is. There's already a heat leak over here. We're going to have to get some insulated tile in fairly quickly to stop all of this heat leaking. But yeah, my main priority for now is just to actually explore and see where everything is. Uh, there is some metal here. There's some aluminium. We're going to get a little bit of digging through here anyway, so that's, that's absolutely fine. You prioritize research and research other than that, I would keep a workload on in priorities until I can do it. Do. Yes. Um, I, what I will do is I'll set the schedule so that we have all work. <laughs> we'll have two downtimes and one bedtime. That's all we'll do to start. We do also actually have some blueprints, but I'm going to wait until we've done the first cycle to actually get those blueprints. Oh, look, it's the edge of the map. Interesting. Probably actually worth building stuff over here because it's one less direction for heat to leak from. Yes, the alternate uh, pod location may be paying off because there won't be any heat transfer through here. This is already a big insulated wall. So that's actually quite nice. I like that. There's some water there as well. Let's actually start digging this. We'll just dig down an S-shape for now, because that'll be quicker than building a ladder. There's lots of oxyferns in here. Look at all these oxyferns. You think the morale buff for bonus downtime is nice, though? It, it absolutely is, but you don't need it at the start of the game, unless you're playing on, like, max difficulty. So I would rather just have... I would just rather have the dupes be productive. But yes, it's very good late game. See, look, here's all the hot sand. This sand is 85 degrees. Um... Interesting to note, I think I don't think the dupes will scold themselves if they're walking on hot stuff in a vacuum. It's just the conductivity of the gas that makes an issue. So I think what I'm actually going to try and do, especially considering you're not allowed liquid locks, is I'm going to try and seal Thanks off a base. Thanks for the raid! Dash Games! Hello! <laughs> Welcome! We have just started Banlist Oasis. It's an Oasis run and we have a banlist which you can see here. We're not allowed to do any of these things, but I don't think any of that is going to be relevant today. <laughs> yes, hope you're doing well. You are Raider number three. Oasis is full of hot sand is what we are learning. See, here's some more hot sand. But I think what we're going to do, because we're not allowed to build liquid locks, I think we are going to vacuum out most of the map and exit our base through transit tubes. I think that's what we're going to do long term. We will obviously need some plastic for this, but I think we'll be able to get some plastic fairly quickly. Exploring outside the starter bubble is really tricky. Yes. Um, we could try and pour some liquids in to try to absorb some of the heat and get it below scalding. That is going to be annoying. So this seems like the bottom. I think it makes sense to put the water all down here. I think that makes sense. Uh, so, let's see. For now... Let's see. So this is going to be where the lab goes. I'll put a door here. And I'll put a door here. And this will be where the bedrooms are. Because you won't be getting any light from this. And maybe we'll, we'll let the shine bug out a different way. Yeah, definitely build those for now. And you don't have any reed fiber? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. We're going to play it pretty slow to start. And we're going to try and not die. Now let's see, where are we going to put the bathrooms? Maybe just down here for now. 
Yeah, maybe just dig this out. We'll put them over here. You know, maybe we just tile this bit up for now. Yeah, I think that's what we do. We dig this. We dig that and then we tile it up. Yeah, put some doors here. Put um, an outhouse here. Put a sink. Yeah, wash basin, I mean. <laughs> made a mess, but like, made free polluted oxygen. Yeah. A recommendation is rust insulating and core of the biome and build triage carts. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. I'm hoping the black is going to... Actually, the black is going to absorb all the heat, isn't it? <laughs> That's not a good decision. <laughs> oh, well. It, it doesn't It doesn't actually make a difference. I'm, I'm joking around. Uh, maybe we just leave this for now. And then you could put another door here. And then we'll dig the rest of this out later. Now, in terms of actually grabbing the water, I think... Let's grab this water first. Go this way. Just put a pitcher pump here for now. Because I think what we're going to do long term is we're going to pour the water down here and have it be insulated against the side of the map. <laughs> the black is the only allowed exploit. Lol. Do you know how to flash ethanol for cooling? Yes. We do know how to do that. We might do that. We didn't actually do it last time. But considering we won't have access to steam turbines yet, and there is a very drastic, immediate need for cooling, we may well do that. Tutorial fetching water. Amazing. I'm not going to look at any of these tutorials. Right, I think that's everything. Okay, so we have that. You still need to build this to get the water out. It looks like you have plenty of time. That is good. Uh, we have all the excellent food down here. This is a hatch. We do have access to hatches, even though there's no sandstone biome. Um, I've talked about this in my asteroid guide video. You will most of the time find a buried hatch to the left of your printing pod. So eventually we'll release this guy and we'll start ranching hatches, probably. And it's quite good for food. So what I'm thinking is... Let's see. We've got plenty of tiles over here. I think long term I'm going to have all my ranches be over here. So we're going to have pips and we're going to have hatches. And we're going to do a dropper for the hatches. We might do a dropper for the pips as well. We'll see. We'll see what we feel like doing. Right, how's water going? Are you idle now? I think you are idle now. Uh, yeah, go ahead and dig this. Is there anything else I want you to do? I do want you to just start moving all this water over. So I think that's going to be a case of us... Yeah, remove all that stuff first. We can put the research stuff in as well. I mean, I guess for now I'll just put that over here. But let's see. Stations, research station. Mm-hmm. How wire can go there. For now, I'll just take this wire down here. I think we're planning on putting a door here long term. So then the manual generator can go... Ah, uh, there's a plant, isn't there? Yes, there's a tree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, the thing about ethanol is you can boil it and condense it to delete heat energy because of the difference in specific heat capacity. Um, <laughs> I think that's somewhat realistic. I mean, obviously not from a thermodynamics point of view, but I know gas ethanol does have different properties to liquid ethanol in real life. A little bit of creative license. But it is absolutely a way to delete heat energy. Now, is it better than just getting your dupe to ru run an ice maker? Not sure. You can fully that automate it. That. Hey, Trouble Queen. How you doing? What have you been up to today? You are actually raider number four. We are getting raided a lot today. <laughs> it's going pretty well. We're starting a new oasis run. Ban list oasis. There is a ban list here. I'm not allowed to do any of those things. Chat has decreed. Right, so you built that wire. I need you to remove that plant. Just dig the tile. You'll actually do that. 
Let's see, do I want you to dig up these hexalents as well? I might get you to do that quickly. And then, yeah, put that on a priority nine. All edibles in here, please. So specific heat capacity divided by the mass is supposed to line up, but ethanol doesn't line up. No. It's very weird, and I think we will probably do something involving that. Right, it's night time, so now you guys are going to actually chill out. You did actually build the pitcher pump, so that's good. Sinister Plank is just having a munch next to the pip. That's good. Tutorial, germs and disease. Thank you, game. They flowers washing their hands. Very good. Is there a particular goal? Uh, mostly just to survive. I've done Oasis before off stream. Um, I haven't done it with all these restrictions. So we're just going to try and have a fairly normal run where we're not allowed to do those things and we just do some general be best practices on Oasis. I mean, I suppose long term, the aim is doing some of the stuff we were trying to do in Arboreal Airheads we didn't quite get around to. Um, because I was more concerned about filling them up with steam and dealing with the mouth breathers. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy your rest. Yeah, Nicola's ready as well. That's good. We'll tile this in the morning. Get you that extra run speed. It's the most difficult map for a reason. Oh, absolutely. I think we've lucked out a little bit because we've got the the edge of the world right here, which is an insulated surface. So we shouldn't need to build as much insulated tile as we normally will. But look, there's an actual direct heat leak down here. Like, this is just straight up hot rock. So if we pour the water down here, that might actually heat it up to the point eventually where it's too hot for oxyferns. Probably not immediately, but it's definitely worth considering. So I think what we would want to do is we would actually probably just want to keep the water here. I think that's honestly what we're going to do. So let's think about this. We're doing base levels. Yeah, because we've got the heat creeping in over here as well. I honestly think we make this the bottom for now. And we literally just seal it off. And then we, ven we vacuum all the gas out of here. I think we do that. Will this have an upside down asteroid? Because you know liquid locks. Lol. <laughs> We want to start up just getting insulated tiles as soon as you can. Yeah, absolutely. Right, uh, let's see. So, yeah. Pile all of that. Put the power stuff over here for now. Yeah, that can go like that, and then we can start researching with this. If we're going to dig all this water out, then let's actually go this way. I think that will be fine. And then we can just climb over here and see if there's any more water that way. Liquid locks are one of the only gas seals available. Yeah, I think doing this without having a reliable gas seal is going to be very interesting. Oh, there's more water over here. We want to let this out somewhere. Right, let's actually come over here. Let's just dig it like that. Have a look. Hydrogen locks up top and CO2 locks down below. That is true. CO2 locks are surprisingly sturdy in some cases. You can absolutely use gases to seal other gases. It's not perfect, but it's it's often pretty good. Now, is this going to start leaking because of the pressure? I don't think it is. It's not very hard. It's, it's the hardness of two, but it's not a huge amount of water, so I think we're fine. <laughs> it's a little bit risky. A gas can't occupy the space with gas any more than it can occupy the space with liquid. You just need to pay attention to the pressure. Yeah, that's very true. That is actually true. Got some more copper up here. Oh, we actually have some loot. Let's see what our loot is. Oh, you got. Designed to regulate temperature and humidity. HVAC khaki shirts. Hmm. What do you think, chat? I think I think we need to give everyone the proper ban list only outfit. It's cool. It's a nifty shirt. Maybe I'll do that after the stream. That is nice. Uh, yes, this is bursting immediately. Okay. <laughs> Ray, don't do this. Seal this. 
Scrap it for wallpaper. Wallpaper for life. Yeah. Never, never allow water to rest on a single tile of dirt. Dirt has a hardness of two. It is not going to resist pressure damage. Now it's going to start bursting out of here, probably. Thankfully, it didn't let too much out. Don't seal me in. I make no promises. There you go. We'll see how that goes. Um, you are getting soggy feet. I don't much care. I think we'll just let you get soggy feet for now. Hip is on a mission to plant something. Very good. There's a tree. This is where the uranium lump is with the lead. So we're going to want to grab that. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to break. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. But the socks! No! Any more water over here? There's there's a geyser over here. I wonder what's in the geyser. I mean, it's in the hot area, so I probably shouldn't wander over here too willy-nilly. Yeah, what are you doing? You're just grabbing all the fruit? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I do want you to just preemptively bring all the fruit over to the actual base. That would be a good idea. Uh, we can do something similar down here as well, actually. Just open this up, and then we'll just come through here. You'll replant the oxyphen just fine. Can I ban the yellow alert cheese for Venser geysers? Oh, I don't do that anyways. I Just as a general rule, I just find it less fun doing that than finding out what's in there the old-fashioned way. Like, I feel like that's a, like a nice mystery in the game that you kind of... You're kind of just spoiling yourself by not doing it. Right, research. Let's get uh, mess tables, I think. Just to make sure that we can get everyone to eat up here. By the food. I'll put the I'll put the hole up here. And then you can seal this in as well. That doesn't need to be yellow alert. Sorry, guys. You prefer digging it up? Yeah, that's, that's not like a ban list only thing. That's like a... Just generally enjoying the game thing. I think if I was going to do that, I would just rather just look up the seed in advance instead. Also, I'm going to move this list. Let me edit this. Uh, set it to... No, don't set it to Greek. put it uh, here for now. Yeah. Okay. I'll just put it there for now. I'll set that to right facing later. Kind of trivializes an aspect of the exploration. Yeah. But look at all this. Look at all this hot material. And this is hot as well. Like any area that's exposed to gas is going to start leaking heat. And you're going to get the 25 times conductivity multiplier between the solids and the gases as well. So that's what's going to start heating everything up. The solid-to-solid -solid interface isn't as bad. I feel like we're doing an only D&D lawfully good run. Yeah, I think that's kind of what the situation is. You can't actually get through here because you need to dig this. That's fine. So it doesn't look like there's any more water over there. Let's see, dig that up as well. Uh, you can go down here, just open that up. We definitely want to grab all this hexalence, so I think just... Yeah, just come around like this. Then we'll just open that up. We want to let all the oxygen drain down to the bottom as well. Generally, we don't want CO2 accumulating anywhere other than the bottom of the map. A, because we want to feed the CO2 to oxyferns. And B, we want to have the non-thermally conductive gas at the bottom of the map. I think. Right, let's see. Yeah, we're going to want to come over here as well. So you can dig that up. Yeah, we can dig up these plants right away. I think you'll have to come through like this. That's fine. We have research. We have algae terrariums. Believe it or not, we're not going to use algae terrariums today. The only real use I find for those is using them to get heat energy on Rhyme. 
You want to pool everything in a big pocket. Yes, exactly. We just want to collect all the resources without having to actually plumb them. I am going to want to grab the fruit down here as well. So I think for now what we do is we just go like this. It's fine. The Weasel wants cool 500 seed to a good temperature to use as a main power source. So the one thing I would say is you have to keep your Weasel warts, um They will die if they get above a certain temperature. So you need to keep them separated from the hydrogen. But they will work to cool stuff down. You have to keep them below 95C. So you can have them in a room and then have that cool down something else that acts as a medium between the hydrogen and the Weasel warts. Yeah, let's collect all these fruit. Um, I think we'll just dig this out as well. We'll just go underneath here. I just want to see how many calories we have. We have bottomless we have bottomless stomach dupes, so we are consuming 4,000 calories per cycle. And then let's see, we'll go... I think I'll just go over here as well. We'll dig that out. Plan out your starting nature reserve. That's true. I should absolutely remember to do that. I don't normally do that. We can definitely do that on this run. We have some mirth leaves right here. It's pretty convenient. Maybe leave that plant. We're going to move all the oxyferns. I mean, we do have pips, so we can make our own nature reserve if need be. We'll, we'll see how we feel. Right, what about this? Yeah, you're going to have to come over here, aren't you? That water is being held back by gas pressure at the moment, so... Definitely don't want to open that up. Just put a little ladder here and then open up this bit. Hmm. I only say that because I totally forgot to do it in my current run, and in all honesty, I'll probably do a nature reserve list. Yeah, like, I want to do it, but considering we have pips so we can wild plant everything, um, and we're going to be wild planting stuff as well, and not overly fussed. But we could, I think it's going to be these. I, I think it's honestly going to be these. We keep these four plants here and then that can be like the main access shaft of the base and we can just we can just build this little bit into it I think that's what we'll do you don't have pips oil or dracos oh god right so you're coming back to eat now surely you're bored yeah you've already all eaten that's pretty good okay You always put nature reserves in my main ladder runs. Yeah, we were <laughs> we were pretty good at that in flip farters. I will say that. Oh look! Radioactive biome. This is cold. This is cold. That's nice. Okay. I've gotta admit, I feel like we've really rolled a lucky location for Oasis. We're going to have to start insulating stuff soon. Right, let's speed to it a little bit. Did you actually get to sleep? You did. Okay, that's good. Yeah, they flower is now doing the research. Nice. So we want to pour all the liquid down here. I think I'm just going to... I mean, we'll just keep digging this stuff out for now. Probably just open this up and pour the water down here. I think so. Better reset to a harder seed. Yeah. Yeah, right. That ain't happening. Hey, we 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 chose not to do the large glaciers seed. I feel like I feel like we've already given chat plenty of concessions regarding difficulty. Right, we have mess tables now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here. So let's see, these two tiles are going to be named, maintained. So I think we just leave this block here. And then this could be where we have the great hall. We'll have to door that off somehow. Let's think about this. 
And we'll get you to work on that now instead of doing research. So assuming we leave the nature reserve stuff over here. I think I'll probably put the doors here. Yeah, I guess we continue to speed to it. You guys, you guys are going to be fine on this. We have 90,000 calories of fruit that we've dug up, so that's not bad. We're going to get an interesting fourth dupe. We're going to get them right away. I pick my ladder run based on where I can find poor plants in close proximity and run the latter three tiles to the side of those plants. Yeah, because the thing is, right, I was going to have the ladder here and then the fire pole. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have dug that plant up here. That would that could have been a good nature reserve. You have poor plants right by that ladder. Yeah, so I think we can leave it like that for now. Maybe what we do is we just move the fire pole so it's over here. The only problem is I wanted to do the ranches here, and I'm not sure we're gonna have enough space if we put the fire pole here. Maybe we will. You know what? We might actually be alright. Maybe, maybe that's what we'll do for now. And then we'll put something else in the middle. In any case, this is going to be where we put the Great Hall. So that can go here. You can dig this out. And then we can seal this off with a door just for now. And then that can count. You can also plant a few oxyferns at the bottom of the run. Yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing. So let's see. Um, furniture, put the mess tables here. We'll probably want to put a water cooler in as well, won't we? Yeah. Let's do that. I guess we'll put the... We're going to move this fairly soon. I guess we'll put the mess tables here. And then the food and the water can go on this bit. Yeah. Ox ferns or arbors are what you want to use in this map. They're the best producing plants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oxy ferns are great. Right, we're letting all this water through here. That will probably end up dripping through this dirt tile, which is actually fine. So we'll just let it do that. These plants are all going to burst, but they're probably going to get pit planted somewhere, so that's fine. And then I think what we actually do is... We dig this, then we seal this off temporarily. We actually let all this water out over here. It would be funny to make a glossy Draco Fueled Sour Gas Boiler. That does sound like something that would be funny. Yeah, I'm alright with this for now. We're, we're next to the, the, the wild oxyfern for all the CO2. Yes, I get the feeling if I'm doing a sour gas... Sour gas boiler. Maybe the, maybe this will be the run? I, 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 don't, I don't think so. We shall see. But yeah, here's a radioactive biome. And there's a wrecked satellite in here and a weaselwort. Very interesting. Got some wolframite as well. Mm. And then we still got more hot sand over here to balance it out. It's funny. Right, water cooler can go here. We have the printing pod. What we got? Oh, look at this. We got a rocketry dupe with diver's lungs. I haven't had a diver's lungs dupe in ages. Apart from the one we printed for the start of this run. But it's piloting, and piloting is the worst attribute. But you don't have any meaningful uh, downsides. Do I just take you and assume that you're going to be the pilot later? I don't want the allergies dupe. It's a pretty good dupe. Yeah, it is a pretty good dupe. You're a decorator and a farmer, though, and you have handy. No, I think we pick Rowan. I think we pick Rowan. These, um, 
These downsides aren't too bad. The extra construction, the extra farming will be very helpful. And you're the decorator, so we don't need to worry about that in future. Yeah, we're going to pick Rowan. Hassan, Hassan maybe later, but like, yeah, you'd pick Hassan. Yeah, but this is going to be more helpful early on. Like, the, the plus three construction is so good. I don't think we're going to be super short. Well, I don't think we're going to be super short on oxygen. This is a really good trait, though, but I just wish they had... I just wish they had an extra, a different attribute than this, because this, this is going to be literally Thanks useless. Thank you very much for following it says. Appreciate you coming by. Enjoy your fishy and your frog-related emotes. Oh, also, um, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but there is a new emote available to subscribers. It is Whiskers Love. This has been promoted to a tier one emote because I got an extra slot somehow. And there is also the animated... There is also the animated Whiskers that shows up on that um, follower subscriber alert. That one's also there. Anyways, we're going to pick Rowan. Hassan is probably really good late game, but I think Rowan's going to be more useful early game. So I think that's what we're going to do. So also, we can give you a skill point right away. Uh, let's give you farming right away. Is that actually going to be relevant? I could probably give you a more relevant skill for now. I could just give you hard digging just for now. Or we could give you decorating and we could just go hard on, like, artwork at the beginning. That'd be kind of funny. Hmm. I think we'll just give you hard digging for now. We'll pick, we'll pick the other skills later. Right, so where are we actually going to dig? Because now that means we can actually dig through granite, which means we can actually get in here and have a look. That is going to cause a heat leak, but I am very curious what this geyser is, because it's probably going to inform what we do a lot. So we'll have to come in this way. But that's okay. Cycle 3 is a bit early to pick your first pilot, but I've probably picked him and just let him be operating for now to train up athletics. Yeah, it's a very close call. It is a very close call. Right, you're actually going to want an extra mess table. <laughs> So this plan has immediately gone to pot. Um, I, I mean, this is going to be the Great Hall, so we don't care about these plants. So let's remove these. Sand has very low thermal conductivity. Yes, it does. But it's thermal conductivity of two. But yeah, if it wasn't for Rowan being so good, yeah, I would have picked a sand. Yeah, grab that food as well. That's good. Getting two good options at cycle three never happens. Oh, I don't know. I think, yeah, it happens occasionally. I feel like you can often get pretty good luck with that. Also, this hasn't burst here yet. That's really funny. Uh, you could sweep this. You can mop this up if you want. Um, in any case, what I'm actually going to want you to do is build that. And then I think we're going to dig through here somehow. And then probably just ladder, 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 ladder. And then we'll pour all this water down here. Yeah, there's no more water up here. So, oh, I mean, there is a little bit of water up here. This was, <laughs> this was ice that melted. We'll just let the ice melt over here for now. My cycle three dupes requirement is literally only don't be horrible. I'm still passing most of my games. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I think it's a very rare circumstance where you're not just going to want to pick up the best out of the available dupes from your first print. Because just having an extra pair of hands, having 33% extra labor, is just so useful early game. Assuming you're not immediately limited by food or oxygen, which we're not. But yeah, we're on cycle three. Um, you can see the aluminium is absorbing some of the heat from this quicker than the dirt and stuff is. It does take a little while for all this heat to creep over, but it does happen sooner rather than later, so you've got to think about it. We are thinking about it, but we're not, like, getting in a massive rush. All right, we'll move the ration box up here, because this is where we're going to put the supercomputer. We'll obviously need that, so just go ahead and grab that. 
that first pump, you just want whatever you can get as long as it's not horrible. I, I always get horrible. Nice. Oh, we need a bed. We need a bed for Rowan. Let's see. Uh, sorry, guys. Yellow alerts. Also, I need to get rid of the shine bug. Oh, I think I think Rowan's already decided to just go to sleep. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I need nice looking cots. Oh, you're right. We do have, <laughs> we do have nice looking cots. And you're getting you're getting harassed by the bug. I think we're just gonna murder the bug. Sorry. Sorry, bug. You're getting murdered today. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get her in the lab cots. Because I think we're going to have those for a while. We have more shine bugs elsewhere. I'm willing to do a little bit of murder. Yeah, lab cots. There you go. Uh, you do need to do this. So you're going to have to build... Ladder is going to have to go a little bit higher up, like this. It's fine. <laughs> You'll eventually want a race car bed. Yep. Mike needs a lab cot if you have it. Yes. I, I like this bed a lot. It's a good bed. Yeah, that's all priority eight. That's fine. Uh, make this priority nine. That's not a bad location for the trees. I mean, everyone will go past this because they, they'll go to the Great Hall. So I think we do try and make this work somehow. And we can put the we can put the nature reserve sign down here. The only problem is we'll have to put the fire pole over here. But yeah, I don't think it's too bad. I think I think we'll make it work. The research continues. You are still getting your lit workspace bonus. Unfortunately, you've got unrested. But that's okay, because it's just stress and immunity at the moment. Right, so that goes here. And then we just remove this. You can easily shape a nature reserve either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do want to prioritize digging this out. I need to see what's actually over there. It's a shame we've got this big lump of sand right here. This water is not actually that hot yet, but it's probably going to heat up fairly soon. All right, you know what? Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we actually dig this out. We come over here and we put the pitcher pump here. And then we pitch a pump this for our research, and we save this for the oxyfern. Because I think this is this might get too hot somewhat soon. This this water will stay fine. I'm gonna build this tile as well. Okay, that's the advanced research done. That's good. So that can go there. We can build this. All the relevant solids of a halfway decent conductivity, tea anyways. Those ox ferns are an amazing place. I know! This is so good early on. I'm very chuffed. The only natural material that slows it down is gra graphite or... Graphite? <laughs> That's Dyson Sphere program creeping in. Granite or mafic. You know. Yeah, dig those as well. Keep grabbing all the food. Um, I guess we'll come down here as well. We'll grab those. We're definitely going to want to come over here and grab this food, even if we're not actually going to... Even if we're not actually going to put the oxferns on here. Maybe we can put the oxferns down here. Maybe we just have the water on top of the oxferns. That's kind of unusual. There is an oxfern down here that we actually do want to grab. Something like that, I think. Yeah, graphene is an only material, but not yet. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I haven't quite gotten that far yet. Oh, I need to give Rowan some priorities. So you can have digging, then building, then farming, then decorating. There you go. I think a domesticated ops fern transfers into three ferns for dupes as long as you can guarantee their CO2. Yeah, pretty much. And provided you haven't got any mouth breathers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. It's just sand and sandstone. There's some abyss light here. Oh, look, here's an oil biome. Okay. So that's a nearby oil. Right. About over here. There's hot abyss light here. This looks like an oil biome as well. Okay. Interesting. We have the research available now. I do want you to actually dig this. Let's, let's find out what's in this geyser first, because that's going to determine a lot of what we do. If this is a water source or something cold, that is going to determine what we do. So I actually want to grab that before we decide to do anything else too major. Uh, let's also actually just start storing up the oxyfern seeds. So I think we put those just in a room. We'll just put those in here for now because there's no pips. We'll start grabbing up all the ones that have stifled because there's no CO2. There's an oxyfern over there as well. Let's see. This is where the ladder is going to go eventually. So I think we just continue that up here. Let me just let that out. We're going to want to come grab this anyways as soon as we get digging level 2 so we can get the lead for our refined metal. See, look, you've got the shine bug light as well. And you've got the mess hall bonus already. That's good. We do still need a decor item. Let's actually research the flower pot. If you're lucky, you can find a section of 60 degrees sand. Yes. I think what we'll do is we'll do the cooling pipe. Because we've got this whole radioactive biome here. There's no bees in it. So I think we are just going to want to dump heat into this room. There's not a lot of heat capacity in it, but it's better than nothing. Although, to be honest, it's probably just going to overheat naturally anyways. Hmm. They're in a pretty good position. Oh, you can't actually reach this, can you? That would have... Yeah, that would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? I think the dupes look very suave in their black or black outfits. It's an underrated look. <laughs> to be fair, magic trees suck. Just ask Batman. Nice. Right, um, let's see. So, oxyfern seeds. Put them in here, priority nine. And we'll start digging up all the stifled oxyferns. Um, I would prefer to just dig this plant so we can actually still access it. And we've got to go grab all these seeds before the pips come over. So let's actually give they flower storing priority two. Because I know a pip is just going to come over here and grab one of these seeds before we think about it. Yeah, here you go. You're, you're on the way. But the pip is going to beat you there. No? Okay, the pips have been polite today. That's good. Yeah, I want to put all these seeds in one place so we can keep them actually organized. Uh, there's a seed over here as well. I think we just go this way for this one. But we want to round up all these seeds pretty quickly. Yeah, keep these high priority digs. This is obviously going to be hot. So we'll want to seal this off once we've got the geyser and we know what we're doing. Manage it. You, I mean, you won't scold in here immediately, but you will once we get to this sort of bit. Yeah, keep building this ladder up. They flower is having a narcoleptic nap. See, look, this is what happens when you have a narcoleptic nap. The, the, the pips beat you to the plants. Right, that's fine. 
anymore. There's a suspicious looking one over here. That one looks suspicious. This one looks very suspicious. Grab that one as well. Okay. It's a saltwater geyser. Oh boy, hot water. <laughs> okay. So maybe we don't unleash this right away. Um. <laughs> Hello, Ferrofrost. We just found a geyser. We found a hot saltwater geyser. I'm sure this will be really useful for cooling everything down. <laughs> oh god. Normally, one of my favorite geysers. But we're going to have to leave that for a little bit. We are not in a position where we can handle that yet. Right, you actually storing these? You are storing these. That's good. Yeah, just keep grabbing the seeds for now. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's all the water. There is another geyser here. Do I want to go and explore that geyser? Possibly. This sand is relatively cool. I think we can go through that. I think it's worth doing because if there is a cold geyser at any point, we need to know. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go like this. And then the sand is all going to come out. We're going to dig in here. We'll have to go in this way. Are you digging up geysers to get cooling? Well, that's the aim. We're gonna if we can if we do have a cold geyser immediately nearby, we are definitely going to, to do stuff with it. I'm gonna have to ladder through the sand because the sand is just gonna collapse. So I think we just plan to do that. Yeah, just just come over here and just, just do it like that. And thankfully, it's not too hot because of the radioactive biome nearby. And the geyser actually helps to cool down the area as well. So I think that's fine. So you're going to want to priority 8 these digs. And that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. And then in the meantime, you can also... Yeah, you'll come over here to grab the seed. I also just want to actually put a ladder here and start digging this up. Put a tile down here as well, so that the water doesn't leak through here. We'll just pour this all down here. So we've come in here. I'm going to remove that and I'm going to put it here. Because this is where I actually want to pump the water from. Because this water is going to get hotter than this water. So we're going to save this for research, and we're going to prioritize this for oxy ferns. Because it's going to stay cool. And I think we just let this down here for research, because that's already quite hot as well. Hmm. It's got a new phone case. Nice, nice. We don't have our advanced research dupe yet, that's okay. They flower is currently focusing on storing instead of research, which is fine because that's what I told them to do. Uh, that one's currently running. Are there any more that aren't running? There's one over here. There don't seem to actually be that many oxy ferns, all things considered. Yeah, we can dig that one, and then you can't access this. That's fine. I really like those, those tiles, the little like, materials that they came from. Yeah, True Tiles is a great mod. Probably one of my favorite mods. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. We'll keep an eye out for anyone who's exhausted because you guys do have a long way to go. I think we ladder through here as well now. Just to help people move around a bit faster. Outhouse is out of order. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love outhouses. My favorite building in the sodding game. Uh, you guys definitely need more downtime. Because you're not making it to bed. Okay.
Yeah, you need the loo. Yeah, of course you do. Right, you need to deconstruct this immediately, then. And we need to rebuild a new one, because it's going to be literally quicker than you... Hello there. ...than you actually doing the other thing. Emptying it. I want to prioritize the plum bathroom right away. We'll definitely feed it into a tree. That's absolutely what we'll do. And I'll I'll just put the sieve and stuff in this area here. So actually, you know what I'll do? I'll dig this out. That's not a yellow alert. I will put a door here. There you go. Now you can go to the loo. But you do need to actually fill this. With stuff. Mm. How am I doing? How am I doing? Um, I'm doing all right. How's my cold? I'm not sure it was a cold. It was more of a fever. Um, I think it's okay. I'm still coughing a tiny bit, but it has been it has been persistent. But I'm mostly back to normal now. You know the cult of the lamb interactive Twitch system. I haven't actually watched anyone play that game yet. I probably should at some point. How do you feel about throat just growing an electrolyzer in your base and spawn be damned? Um, we may do that. Uh, but what I would probably do is I would probably put it at the top so the hydrogen stays at the top. <laughs> yeah, look at all this sand. This is actually relatively cool. Like, this isn't scolding. That's interesting. We may be able to salvage this area. That's very interesting. Like, if we just dig up the abyssalite, we could probably cool this down to a reasonable temperature just off the radioactive biome. And again, it all depends on what's in this geyser. This area is too hot. As is this area. This is even hotter. Right, so you have let that water through. That's okay. Uh, we need to deconstruct this as well. You're having an archaeology nap again. Excellent. And then I think we just let this out. Then that water will end up in here. And then I need to slowly let that out as well. It's fine. Probably just want to dig this out into here as well. It's a system where the followers are the Twitch chatters. There are some really... There's some other stuff that doesn't really matter. That's interesting. It's always nice. Who's idle? Sin you are idle. Yes, you are. The pip is just like, look at this fool. Look at this fool who stranded himself on the ladder. As a pip, I am beyond such things. There we go. You think Oni should have that? Yeah, it'd be pretty interesting. I've seen the Twitch Oni in integration mod. The Oni Twitch integration mod. People have played that. Oh, I should have put that as, as an option on the YouTube poll. We'll have to do that at some point. You got hypothermia. Amazing. You've got hypothermia and a skill point. Everyone's got their skill points now. So you can have hard digging as well. You can have building. You get the mechatronics hat as well. And you've already got ranching, so you can grab advanced research. There you go. What does it do? It adds random events that happen in the game that chat can choose on a poll. Some of the events are good and some of them are bad. And it adds a lot of randomness to the game, which I don't particularly want to do. <laughs> but if it was a dedicated run, I would consider it. Ceiling collapse? Which one? This one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's no good. <laughs> Rowan! Rowan, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Rowan is in trouble. <laughs> it's all right, Rowan. You can get out of here. Wait. Do you have digging? What do you mean you can't dig? What do you mean you can't dig? You have to dig! <laughs> yes! You have, you have to dig, Rowan! I, I think this might be the thumbnail, maybe. Who knows? Also, we got the principles available. What's going on? 
We got a super duper hard digging dupe already with building and cooking and agriculture. I guess we'll, we'll take our dupe who can do obsidian. It seems pretty good to me. Oh, wait, you've got undigging? Oh, no, I don't want an undigging person with a digging skill. That's pathetic. We got a Bert who has rocketry and unconstructive. No, I'm not taking any of these guys. I'm going to take the algae. We're not going to build an oxygen diffuser. We're just going to feed it to Paku or something. I don't know. I'm not taking you, though. Undigging and skill digging is just silly. And then unconstructive is just no. Right, no fifth dupe for now. Yes, get get Rowan out of the sand. Out of the scolding sand. I think you'll be all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yes, air. Air is good for you. Well, at least we can just go up here now. Um, there's no point actually digging this out, is there? No. We got we got a little bluff bry here. Amazing. Excellent. We got we got space. This is the space biome. By the way, this is a tip that I actually talk about on YouTube. Um, the space biome is cold and is above your base in Oasis. So you can just dig all the way to space. And now you have a source of cool material. So yeah, because this is surrounded by space, we can actually probably cool this whole block of hot area. We'll, we'll dig it to de delete the mass, and then I, I'm pretty sure we can just get it to normal temperatures. So that's good. There's actually a bit more space than we normally have. It's because of the space biome. Right. Plants. Plants o'clock. Uh, let's give you a nice red pot. I can go there. And then you can make this a great ball. Okay, so all the water has come down here now. That's good. <laughs> we have flooded the tree. Amazing. Uh, this can just go... Down here. You're going to get very wet digging this, but that's fine. And then I think... That will just let the water down here naturally. So I'm alright with that. <laughs> so what you're saying is you need space. Yes. Space of some kind. Got a load of chlorine in here. Got a load of refined iron here by the satellite. That's a lot of refined iron. Obviously a slight hazard to getting to it, but... Definitely worth considering grabbing immediately. Yeah, let's speed to it. Let's speed to it, to it and see what's in this geyser. See if it's going to influence our decisions. And then if not, then we'll just do our normal plan with the oxyferns. Otherwise, we might... We might do something different, but we might not. I also think it's worth us actually just grabbing the insulated tile at this point. We can start building that. We do have a decent amount of food saved up. But this is all the food. Once we run out of this in about, what, 35 cycles. Maybe maybe less than that, actually. Or like 27 cycles. We will need to start setting up ranches and everything. I feel like this is going pretty well so far. We need to give you plumb bathrooms, though. That needs to happen. Uh, Bluff Briar will be fine here. This is... This isn't going to overheat anytime soon, I don't think. Do you guys actually go to bed on time? I think you did. That's good. No, you didn't. Yeah, but you're narcoleptic. Hmm. How about all triple speed, no pause challenge? Oh, I never do triple speed. The dupes forget what to do at triple speed. It's not great. Right, I'm just moving you down here. I'm going to wake you up, and then hopefully you're actually going to go to bed. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to open this up and let the heat of space out into here. 
Maybe we'll do that sooner rather than later. It just depends what's in the sky, though. I'm glad you've been finding entertaining, Dr. Dangerous. I've been finding entertaining, too. It's always nice starting a new run. And it's nice having a proper reason to start a new run. But yeah, like, when you play a large base on triple speed, the dupes spend so much time pondering. They don't actually do stuff faster. Like, they do stuff slower than on slower speeds. I often play on speed one. On a run with few colonists, I'll probably do speed two. But I never do speed three, really. Like, either it's early game and there's more stuff to focus on, or it's late game and it's not worth doing. A, a hot water geyser. Okay. More 95 degrees water. That's very interesting. I mean, that's really good. We're not going to have to worry about having water to electrolyze. But we are going to have to worry about scolding dupes. Hmm. Alright. Guys, we're making a very, very calculated decision here. We are going to... We didn't take our super duper hard digging dupe, but the water would just build up over here. Right. Here's what we do. We literally dig this out. We let the water build up. We let it pour in here into the radioactive biome. And then we worry about it later. That's what we do. We won't do the same with the salt water because that's below it. But yes, this is this is uh, definitely what we do to start. That's a lot of what Oasis about is about, actually, is finding the early opportunity that saves the run. And this is it. Because we can get this water cooled down, we can filter it through this lovely uranium cleansing filter. And then have some cold water for a bit. And then we should be able to hook up some kind of proper cooling um, by the time we start to have issues with that. And this means we can come down here and get the iron as well. Well, I mean, we could come down here and get it anyways. Radiation is still very high. But I think that's fine. We're probably going to want to just come in here and grab this iron immediately. Now the only thing is, we're going to have to seal this up. So you're going to have to dig through here. We're going to have to actually get one of you to have super hard digging to get through the abyssal light. And then we're going to have to seal it up. Also, this has to not go dormant. But that's okay. Right. You're exhausted again. Oh, whatever. So I think what we do is we come over here... And then we dig this out. We let all this water out over here. You can dig that out. To ensure it doesn't flood. I should try and play on speed 2 then. Didn't know that. Yeah, it's like... What you can do is you can check the colony report. You can see how much time your dupes are spending on pondering. So ponder is currently 0.1%. But if you're running a large colony on speed 3, ponder is going to be the errand that your dupes are doing the most during their work time. And that drastically reduces their efficiency. And it's sad that that's how it is, but it is just what it is. The more options your dupes have, the less efficiently they will pick between them. But yeah, we'll keep grabbing the insulated tile. And then we can probably... You know, I think we just insulate this immediately and then we just pour the water down here. I don't want to leave all these resources available for grabs. I think it's what we do. It's a lot of good space. It's a lot of free resources. So let's let's actually think about where this is going to go. I think we... We just dig to the granite. We dig to the granite and we can go through it a little bit. But probably mostly just leave it like this. Wanna grab the oxyfern? 
Let me insulate it down here. No liquid locks, but what about big 1,000 kilogram plus of liquid lock? Um, yeah, I think the rule is for that ban that we're not going to make liquid locks at locations, but if we want to pour existing liquids into a liquid lock naturally, I think that is permissible. But we're not going to overly rely on them. But yeah, I don't think any of those bans are going to come into force today. I mean, <laughs> that would that would be quite a feat to actually try and trigger one of those right now. Yeah, what's the research like? How's that going? We're getting there. Yeah, because we're definitely just going to want to insulate this bit off here. I think that's fine. And then we can just shove the oxy ferns down here, and then we can have the water tank alongside it. But I do want to grab all these seeds. So I think we just, yeah, we'll uproot these now as well, because they've run out of CO2. Yeah, that can go over there. Start working on clearing all of that out. There's a hatch. We've we've uncovered a hatch. There are lots of hatches in this hot sand. So keep that in mind. We'll definitely grab those wheeze warts and use them to cool our base as well. But that will happen later. Making all these ladders out of igneous rock. I think that's fine. Yes, yeah, so this is a great haul now, so we're getting the full plus six morale bonus from this. This is the most important morale source in the early game. It's very large and it's very easy to get. You just need a decor item, you need a recreation building. The decor item has to give plus 20 decor, so a plant that's alive in a pot will do. And then the mess tables. Wow. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to put up with the outhouse until we get the Oxyferns set up. Does the decor pot violate Locavore? Um, I wouldn't have thought so. I think it's a planter box that violates Locavore. Who is suffocating? How? How did you end up over here already? Right, you can get out of here. Rowan. That's fine. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how you ended up over here. I'm gonna be real. You should be fine though. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, no immediate deaths. That's not good. Probably got liquid valves. Manual airlocks, gas valves. Okay. Yeah, just keep digging this out for now. We'll insulate this before all this heat can transfer over to the gas. And then as soon as we get the next skill point, we'll get super hard digging and we'll open this up. Because that's actually where all of our water is going to come from for our electrolyzer. Yeah, we want all of these resources down here as well. Yeah, so grab all the buried items as well. Sounds good to me. This and there's oxygen down here as well that we want to grab. Seek fluid intake. Fluids. I have a little bit of squash left. There we go. This game is definitely about seeking fluids. For electrolysis. It's very funny to me how um, electrolysis is power positive in this game. Imagine how advanced civilization would be if we could do power positive electrolysis in real life. Yeah, this is all primary real estate. How's the research going? It's going okay. 
We have only got one person doing it at the moment, but that's fine. I think generally we don't want people to do the other researches. Because I think they're more productive doing other things. So I think I'm going to... Yeah, do that. <laughs> well, I did invent time travel. Indeed. Yeah, I'm going to want to grab this stuff as well, I think. So... Yeah, go ahead and grab all of this. Then I'll think about where the insulation is going to go. But yeah, in terms of the fire pole, the fire pole is definitely going to go here. Let's actually dig this out as well. We're going to leave this central column for other things in general. Strange how wild planting is a mechanic when almost everything is supported to have a cost. I actually dislike wild planting. I feel like it's not a very interesting mechanic. I mean, even aside from the fact that it's super fiddly getting the pips to do what you want if you don't know any better. I just think dealing with resource shortages in a creative way is like the core gameplay fun of this game. And pip planting just allows you to bypass that directly. The only disadvantage is it takes up way more space and you might be limited on seeds. But I don't think that's a meaningful disadvantage to have. I would rather that pips are able to plant plants and have it be the opposite effect. Like, have pip like have pip planted plants require resources, but like give you like twice the throughput or something. But yeah, then then I guess you don't have the emergent behavior of pips just planting stuff in the wild when you when you dig up the seeds, which is important for the early game because that's what they're supposed to do and be annoying and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I guess just leave pips as they are. But like, I'm not... I don't generally do it in my runs because I don't think it's very interesting. The cost of space on the map which is not very important except in modern microbase scenarios. Yeah, it would be more... It, <laughs> it's definitely more relevant on like spaced out where you have less space. I think that's very true. So now you can see that we dug all of this solid stuff out. The heat is transferring a bit more quickly. Um, so hopefully we actually get the research done quickly. In fact, let's actually... I think I will actually... Yeah, just do it like this. And then I'm not going to give you guys any more errands. I mean, maybe I'll give you this one. You can't actually get down here, can you? You need to dig this. Oxyburn seeds you got. You got 16. Mm hmm. That's good. You guys not actually getting to bed? Yeah, you're getting to bed now. Okay, that's good. Good to see. Yeah, this is. The heat is starting to transfer over. So we want to insulate this sooner rather than later. And again, the gas is the conductive part because the solid gas interface has a 25 times multiplier compared to solids to solids or solids to liquids. Let's see, um, you need to dig that out as well. That can happen later. It's not a problem. Where are you going? Oh. You're going around that way? Oh, we need to open this up. Yeah, that's no good. <laughs> You're running all the way through the water at the moment to get to the... Uh, to get to the... <laughs> other side. Yeah, that's no good. Researching temperature modulation. That's good. It always boggles my mind how much water the supercomputer uses. And also the fact that the building shows pipes on it for the water, but there's no pipe input. <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting if they made like an advanced computer that actually lets you pipe the water in. Oh, 
Oh look, the mealwood is growing on the neutronium. It's funny. Yeah, here's more oil. This this is actually a cool part of the oil biome. I'm not sure how this has happened. There must be a geyser nearby. Because the geyser areas are generally cooler. Hmm. How's skills doing? Looks like we've looks like we've got another three, four cycles before we can get this water geyser pumping over here. This is actually very close to being able to do this. But I want to I want to let the water in at the top. For somewhat obvious reasons. Who's idle? You're idle? Oh, you just not got anything to do. Okay. We've let this water through here now, that's fine. Just keep digging these plants up, I guess. Uh we do need to clear this bit. Because we're gonna put the sieve here for the plant for the plum bathroom. So yeah, you could start doing that. You're having a narcoleptic nap again? I mean, amazing. I'm beginning to regret having a nar narcoleptic dupe. Hmm. You have a planet which has buried objects in neutronium? Amazing. Fantastic. The pip's just like these events are currently unfolding. Well, I think we're almost done on this research. Well, we're done on the dirt part, and then you just need to do the water part. Uh, let's see. We can tile this as well. Because what we'll do is we'll have the bathroom, we'll have the sieve, um, we'll have the showers, and then we'll have the sieve over here. Although the sieve room will need to be a bit bigger. So I think what we'll actually do... We do it like this because the sieve room needs to have the sieve and the tree in it because we're going to use a tree for it so that's going to need to come one over and then we're going to need a space here and then i guess we can have the bathroom bit actually be close together okay i think this is how we'll do it we'll need the hydroponic farm as well but we need to research all of that after the insulated tile, because now, we, now we're letting all the heat in here. What's in the pod? We got any good dupes? Yes. We've got a good builder. You're, um, you have operating extra skill. I don't think I want you. You do have super hard digging, though, but I don't think we want you anyways. Yeah, I think we just take Ada... Seems like a no-brainer. There's so much construction. Yep. Okay. So Ada, you can have building. You can prioritize building. Um, you could be the one that actually grabs all the stuff as well. I think that's what we'll do. And you can you can be a doctor as well. Excellent. Okay, so you're gonna need an extra bed. I believe I could just open this up. And then in terms of mess tables, I don't think we actually need these plants in here. So we'll just put the mess table there. So priority nine this. And we'll get Ada a, a new bed immediately. Yeah, Ada will be a good addition to the team. We're planting all the plants down here now, amazing. So this still counts as a barracks. We've removed the the guy now, so this is fine. Those tiles can go there. But yes, hope you're having a good evening, Mit Boy. Am I supposed to pronounce that Mit Boy or MIT Boy? It's another oxyfern seed. We have many. We have many of these seeds now. We have eighteen of them. This is good. We're going to have room for a big tranche of oxyferns. Yeah, so set that to priority 9 as well. And then we can dig all of this. Eventually I'll remove this. 
but I'm gonna leave it here for now. Where am I gonna put the where am I gonna put the stuff on to the the generator? I'll have to have a think about that. It's not related to the university, it's just MIT. Fair enough. That does that is allowed. That is valid. This pip is just like, I did something involving this tree, probably. You'll never know if I didn't. Your attributes are going up, that's good. You got some extra athletic skill. I'll make up for your narcoleptic naps. Uh, we're going to need to empty you again. Okay. I do not like these outhouses one bit. We will get them sorted out today. But yeah, deconstructing and reconstructing them does just actually seem to be faster. Especially when we've got dupes with such high construction skill. We're going to need to do this every three days now because we've got five dupes. And they all went to bed on time. That's very good. Rowan and they flower need to pee. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ada is currently on restocking this. That's good. The dirt is right here. There you go. Have fun. The flower needs to go to the loo. Yep. One time he didn't sweep the bottom of the map and rogue pit planted a small kid there. I feel like stuff like this should happen more often in the game to make it spicy. Have you seen the, the Baytor map? Um, it's a map that's full of like gas traps and things where if you're if you're not very observant when you're looking at the map. Why are you just watching they flower go to the loo? Perverted duplicates. Um, but yeah, if you're not careful, you'll just dig across a bit of like um, a thousand kilograms of natural gas or something and it'll flood your base. I want to do that map at some point. Right, you're idle again. How's the research going? You're nearly there, but not quite. Um, I think I just get you to continue digging stuff out. I think, yeah, I think we keep the water here. We insulate this bit and then we put the we put the oxy ferns down here. Maybe. Oh, so like a geode map? Yeah, kind of. No, I think it makes more sense to pour the water down here and then have the oxy ferns over the top of it. Maybe. But we need to make sure the CO2 doesn't get below the oxy ferns. I think usually how I do it is I have the oxy ferns on one side at the bottom of the map and then the water is next to it with airflow tiles. That's usually how we do it. We'll probably do something similar here. We'll just have the oxy ferns in this bit. We'll need the hydroponic farm for that as well. Are you getting lit workspace over here? You are. That's good. But yeah, you can keep digging this out for now. Where else are we going to want to dig out? Probably just over here. Yeah, that's that water through. Okay, so now we actually have the insulated tile. That's good. So we need to put that down here. Oh god, the pips are planting everything on the rock where I actually want to put the insulated tile. Stop the heat transfer. Ah, oh, you stupid pips. Right. I think what we do then is we just dig... Hmm. This doesn't need to be yellow alert. We need this bit to stay cool. So this goes to priority 9. I think we do it like this. 
That way the pips aren't going to get in the way and be annoying about it. Yeah, something like this. And we just get you to do that immediately. Okay, so that's all priority nine. And we do no research until this is actually done. I think honestly what I'm going to do, like if we look in the resources, we don't have any coal, so coal generators probably not until we get hatches going. We could burn wood for CO2 if need be. I don't think we're going to run out of CO2. I think what we do is we insulate this, we store the water down here, then we put the oxy ferns above it, and then if we need more CO2 we just run a wood burner. A for power and B because it'll fill the CO2 up to the level we want. And we'll probably want CO2 for stuff like CO2 rockets later anyways. So I think that's permissible. We'll have a lot of just wild lumber available at the start. Also, while we're doing this, let's actually get our list up. So we, we want to... We're interested in coal, dirt... Shove bowl eggs. Okay, have we actually seen these shove bowls? Sand, lumber... Metal ore, algae, polluted dirt, granite, I think is relevant. The rock generally shouldn't be relevant. Oxyfern seeds, arbor acorns, mealwood seeds, and then all of these. Yeah, that'll do for now. Yeah, you guys should build these tiles pretty quickly. And then once we've built all this insulated tile, we just pour all the water down here. Well, as long as the heat actually stops transferring from the solid. It, the water shouldn't get too hot down here, even though the gas is too hot. Because the gas has hardly any heat capacity on its own. The issue is that the gas is conducting the heat with the solids. But it won't conduct the heat with the insulated tile so much. So I need to do something similar over here, realistically. Yeah, I think we just replace the whole bit. And we replace it generally based on where the pips are planting things. So like that. I don't mind this absorbing some of the heat. This is hot water that's going to stay hot and we're going to use it for research. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Good job, dupes. Make that heat wall. <laughs> All sods. Yeah, so I need to think about what the thumbnail is going to look like for this series. Yeah, once this is heat sealed, we can just pour the water down here and start thinking about other things. I don't mind the heat ingressing over here as much, because we do have some chill we can balance it out with. Mostly from the space biome. I think what we're going to do, once this runs out of... Once this heats up from the water geyser, we're just going to dump, start dumping regolith and things in there. That's what we'll do. We can do that for a while, I think. Yeah, I like how this is looking. It, I'm glad we have all these builders, because otherwise it would take a while to build all this insulated tile. Yeah, you're getting there. You can dig this up as well. But I'm not going to start researching until we've actually done this. Oh, right. That's good. Okay, now, look. I've had a whole glass of squash. So I think I'm fairly justified in having some mango Pepsi to balance it out. All right. Fishies have also been doing all right. Um, I need to replant some of the plants, but generally they've been having fun. Oh my god, look. Hold on. Yeah, look. One of the plecos is resting on the magnets. <laughs> I put them there specifically so they'd rest on them occasionally, and they've enjoyed it. That's good. Good to see. The oxygen seems to go low. Um, I mean, this is just the bottom of the map. Like, the CO2... 
the CO2 is pooling here. But, uh, yeah. There is more oxygen up here. You're right, it's not very high. We haven't built an oxygen generator. Oh yeah, that's the annoying thing. You have to actually build an, an algae thing for the game to tell you what your oxygen rate is. So yeah, I guess just build that as well. It's fine. This is perfectly breathable. I mean, this isn't good. This should be an airflow tile here. Let the CO2 out of this pit. There's a lot of oxygen over here that just isn't making its way over. I think make this all priority 8 and the stuff up there priority 9. I do at least want to see what the oxygen level is. But no, this isn't something to be concerned about. It would be concerning if the whole map was like that. Yeah, if we look at the colony report, let's see. Yeah, we weren't generating that much oxygen. Oh yeah, I guess we have just taken all the oxyfern seeds and just put them in a box. So we're not getting any wild oxygen production anymore. But it's very difficult to actually get wild oxyferns to do anything unless they're already planted somewhere where all the CO2 pools. And that changes rapidly when you're digging up a lot of the maps. So usually you're just better off collecting them somewhere away from the pits and then actually knowing how many of them you have. And then you can plan around how many dupes you get based on that. Because generally you want about three dupes per, uh, three oxyferns per dupe. So we could probably have about seven dupes with this many. Yeah, they're actually struggling to breathe a little bit. So let's actually dig... Let's actually dig this out just so they can get over here as well. And then maybe build a ladder here. Because that's, that's making you less efficient actually building all this stuff now. But you do still need to finish this. You're just going to have to put up with it. There you go. But now you can go up here and grab this oxygen as well. Also, this bit here, I think I'm just going to bring this here. Just because we're going to pour the water in over here. Yeah, now you're breathing in some of this oxygen. That's good. Then if we build this ladder here, you can you can come up here as well. <laughs> Insufficient oxygen generation. Okay, okay. We'll use that 500 kilograms of algae we got at the start. But an oxygen diffuser. That sounds reasonable. But we're almost done on this. We're doing a good job. That's what you sound like. How's the skills going? Uh, yeah, probably another cycle or two before we can release the water geyser. Actually, I'm pretty happy. Like, a water geyser and a salt water geyser. We're definitely not going to have issues with um, spawn oxygen. Oh, what about not using packages? Um, that was something when I put on the poll on YouTube for the max difficulty. That was an option versus the the ban list. Um, and YouTube mostly seemed indifferent towards it, so we're just allowing care packages. I think we're going to have enough of a challenge as it is. But yeah, we have good water options. We do need to... I mean, obviously we're going to need to cool this with the map as much as possible, but we're going to need to prioritize active cooling fairly quickly. You know, grabbing all the food, that's good. But yeah, in terms of food options at the moment, Hatches eating sand is definitely appealing. Because, yeah, Hatches do eat sand, and we have so much of it, and it's hot, and we want the Hatches to delete the heat from it by eating it. But yeah, what I'm thinking is we're going to have a big column of ranches going up here. Probably a big column of hatches to start, because we can do the dropper. And then probably some pips as well. 
Because we, we just... The, the thing is, we can just feed the hatches off of the sand, and the coal is going to be so useful for our early power. So I think that is important that we do hatches sooner rather than later, because there's not actually a lot of coal for us to grab in these sand biomes. And then we'll have as much power as we want. Yeah, doing super sustainable on something like this would be a bit challenging. You'd have to electrolyze the water immediately and then and then do that. Um, use the hydrogen generators. It would be possible. It would just probably be a lot slower. We'll probably end up doing a combination of things anyways. <laughs> You're almost out of oxygen over here now. Okay, perhaps we just let the water through now. Oh, we're so close. We're so close, guys. I believe in you. You can do it. There's still a little bit of hot debris over here, but that's mostly fine. Does that matter? Oh, I guess the hot debris is going to conduct heat with stuff, isn't it? I feel like the debris generally isn't that hot. Most of it is rock that isn't going to be very conductive anyways. Or lots of dupe power. Maybe. You're very nearly done with this. Now, it's going to take you a while to grab all that debris, isn't it? But I think it is worth doing this because we absolutely don't want the water to heat up. So let's actually just build a load of storage bins over here. And then we'll start shuffling all of this around. It's going to take you a while. But I think we do want to do this before the water gets poured in. Ethanol power is viable as well. Yeah, that's true. I mean, obviously using an ethanol generator doesn't count as super sustainable. Sadly. Right, so now... Yeah, I guess just start sweeping up all this stuff once you build that. Yeah, and prioritize this bit first. Because the water is mostly going to pour in there first. You're running the algae diffuser? Yeah, that's good. Hello, Zipper Forest. How are the dupes doing? They're doing okay. The penal colony is doing alright. Um, we are doing Oasis. We lucked out a little bit. We started with alternate pod location. So we've got this whole wall of neutronium here that isn't hot. So we have at least one insulated side to the base. We've just sealed this bit here. So there shouldn't be too much more heat transfer over here. And we're going to seal this fairly soon as well. But we, I don't think we're actually going to need to seal this. Because I think most of the heat from this we can dissipate into space. So, all in all, we've actually been very fortunate. Um, not so fortunate that it's going to completely invalidate the run, but this is among the better um, Oasis starts out there, I think. And we have a water geyser up here, and we have a saltwater geyser over here. So we're going to pour this water geyser into this cold radioactive biome for a while. Is this the exploits banned run? Yes, the exploit ban list is now... <laughs> is now over there in the corner. Those are the things that we're not allowed to do. I will uh, reformat that a bit between streams. But that is what Discord decided. And we may ban future things as well if they get a big enough um, supporting vote on Discord. So if there's something there that's nominated, that hasn't been nominated yet, that you think should be nominated, do feel free to post there. People can still vote on it. Right, what's in the pod? So we've got a cook with agriculture. Maybe we do take a cook. It'd be nice to just have someone do that. Um, you're a farter, so that's a no. Absolutely not on this run where we're not doing liquid locks or anything like that either. You're a doctor with trypophobic. We don't need that. Yeah, let's take Harold. Harold the cook. We will give you somewhere to actually cook later, but here you go. At least this way we don't have to worry about anyone else doing it. And then you can also do a bit of farming. 
Very good. Enjoy your chef hat. It goes very well with your stylish black outfit that everyone else seems to be wearing. Yeah, let's see how long it takes them to actually grab all this stuff. Oh, I should have given someone supplying. That would have made a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, God. This is going to take ages without a supplying dupe. A doctor who's afraid of holes seems questionable. I love that that's the objection that the dupes have to digging. Is, um... Is, like... <laughs> the, the hole is what is frustrating them. Not the actual act of digging and getting trapped. No door crushing. Does this game have a dwarven atom smasher? Uh, no. It's basically... When you have, like, a manual or a mechanized airlock... And it's in gases... If it closes, it will it will often e it will either push the gases out, or if it can't do that, it will delete the gases. It's quite easy to automate the manual the mechanized doors to automatically destroy gases. So chat deem that as an exploit, and we are not allowed to do it. We don't often do it, but stuff like what we did um, when we were clearing out the area for the volcano boiler on uh, Badlands Boffins. That was technically door crushing, but that was manual door crushing. Boil it out of order. Again. Really? I am sick of this. We have got to sort this out soon. I think this is going to take too long. I mean, we've got the algae from the printing pod for now, so maybe we hold off on this for a little bit and do some research. So we need the hydroponic farm for the tree and for the oxyferns. So let's get that researched. We're definitely doing plum bathrooms today and we're definitely doing the oxyferns today. That's not negotiable. Right, so you're going to rebuild this. Rebuilding it is way quicker than you cleaning it. You're out of power. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. We're now having to do this every two and a half days. Oh, we need another bed. Yeah, that's very true. I should stop getting dupes soon. I don't want to go above seven dupes because that's how many oxyferns we have. We have 21 oxyferns. Yeah, dig out these tiles and we'll put another bed over here. Once you've removed that tree. What about a mess table? Yeah, let's remove this tree as well. Sorry guys, we are completely supplanting nature now. But we're going to leave these trees here. This is going to be the nature reserve bit. It looks like a heart. That's pretty nice. There you go. And you can keep grabbing this stuff, but keep grabbing it while we're just doing the research. Um, I need to get someone to prioritize operating the wheel. But that's probably Nicola. Yes. That should be fine. Any more skill points? We're very close. So we'll give Rowan super... Oh, wait. Rowan. You're not actually the digger, are you? We can wait on this a bit longer. We have water. I'm going to give Rowan supplying one. That's going to speed this up a lot. Athletics? Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want you to take all this hot debris down here. And get it out. I don't want that exchanging heat with the water. Probably, I probably shouldn't be worrying about this too much. But yeah, we'll give um, we'll give Sinister Plank digging two, and then that's when we'll do that. So yeah, you can have supplying one because I'll give you four hundred extra carrying capacity, and it gives you the strength. So actually, in that case, I think I'll make you the dog's body. Yeah, yeah, let's do it like that. Can any dupe be a digger if they get a, the, a job tool? Well, I mean... Sinister Plank came with more excavation skill, but I gave Rowan the hard digging skill immediately, just because 
I just needed someone to dig granite so we could see what this geyser was. And salt water isn't overly relevant. But we needed to give them the skill so that we could see what it was. This is relevant because it's a water geyser and we can pour it on this cold biome. But we'll wait until um, our actual digger gets that skill. Because I think just having the... Because, yeah, look, now you can carry 680 kilograms instead of 200 kilograms. That's basically adding, like, three and a half extra dupes to this task. So it's actually very important. Now, I do have work tomorrow, so we've got to get this done within the next hour. Maybe I do speed three it for now, because it's the start of the game. And you're just mostly shuffling materials at the moment. Dows radiation with water. I mean, that doesn't really work. I mean, maybe a little. We're going to end up with a lot of radiated water, but I, think, I don't think that's going to be an issue. The radiation doesn't seem to linger in the water that much. So much rock. Oh, and you're dropping it down here because of the lack of air. Okay, okay, look. I see, I see what the issue is. I should probably actually move this down here. How much algae have you got left in it? Not very much. I don't think there's any point. That's going to be out of algae by the time we move it. And build the wire. I don't think you've gen... Oh, look. Yeah, you're dropping some more material. Okay. Yeah, you've already filled one 20-ton container. Yeah, you're actually dropping a fairly large amount of this on the floor. Okay, I don't think this is going to happen. Right. You've done a little bit. That'll help out. Um, yeah, just open this up. How sufficient the white spots? Better. I think they're all gone. I haven't seen the spots. I haven't seen the spots on that fish. So I think the medicine has worked. I mean, the spots aren't actually indicative of the parasites. They're indicative of the parasites having left and then you've got to worry about the eggs in the sand but yeah I think generally the medicine has helped a lot right so let that out let that out dig this as well and then all that water can pour in here there is going to be some heat transfer over to this but I think it will be generally manageable it's going to have to be there's a lot of mass in this water and not a lot of conductivity in these solids. So I'm thinking generally it's going to be okay. This water is already up to about 30 degrees. You can see the heat is actually starting to transfer through pretty, pretty well after all this time. But yeah, there's going to be a large amount of water being dumped in there, so speed, speed it up. Um, I'm preemptively going to put another bed over here and another mess table because we're definitely going to have seven dupes. Could it be fish lice? I don't think it's fish lice. The spots were just like generally on the side of the fish. I don't think it's fish lice. Yeah, you can see the debris is probably slowly cooling. It's taking a while. I mean, to be honest, the oxyferns will be fine up to 40 degrees with water. I'm probably worrying a little bit more about this than I need to. This water should be fine for oxyferns, provided that we use it quickly. But I think I, I do want to just save some water for research in general. Yeah, you've all had your sleep now. That's good. All those flying lights in the game. Those are shine bugs. So they're but they're insects that produce light and radiation. Um, the radiation is generally low enough that it's not a concern. The light helps the dupes be productive and certain plants to grow. So we want them to hang out in rooms where the dupes are. Yes, water is going through here. All the shine bugs can now be free. Um, what you can do in this game is you can ranch them and then cram them all in an area to get a large amount of concentrated radiation in an area. We've done that on our previous runs, and that's gone pretty well. Are you idle? 
Okay, you're not trapped, you're just bored. Okay, I guess you could dig... What else do we want to do? Do I actually want to dig anything else now? You can dig this up, I guess. We're gonna want to put stuff there eventually. I do kind of just want you to do more research. Maybe we... I think we might just allow people to do that. But just, yeah. We'll allow people to do it, but just on a lower priority. Harold is not allowed because he's a yokel. Can you eat them? Um, they don't produce meat, but you can crack the eggs and make omelettes from them. The only problem is the eggs are so small you can't cook a whole omelette with just one shine bug egg. But what you can do is you can take the eggs, crack them somewhere, and then take the raw egg, put it on a conveyor belt, and put it next to a heat source and have it state change into omelette at 75 degrees. Wow, you're all bored now? Okay, that does make sense. What do we do now then? Um, probably just... Insulate more of this. We'll put the oxy ferns here and then we'll start taking the debris up, but we need technology for that first. So I think we just do... How wide are we going to make this bit? I don't know. I think I'm just going to do it like this. I think this makes sense. We'll just have that be the cutoff. And then you can seal all of this in as well. Yeah, do it like that. See how far you get to start. And then I'll just put like a door here and we can start... No, not there. The door here. And you can start digging all of this out. But no, the radiation from the shine bugs is generally not a hazard. It's not, it's not too high a level. Yeah, you can start digging all this out as well. This ladder can go over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is farmed. I'll do the nature reserve later. I don't think it's super relevant at the moment. So, hydroponic farm can go there. All the water is poured out down here. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the... I'm going to put the oxyferns at this height level. And 21 is what we want. So, let's see. I think this is going to be where we separate it off. So, how many is that? It's up to where the tree is. Okay. So, we'll build that hydroponic farm there. We'll pump the water out of here. We need the liquid pump as well, so let's get that researched. Liquid pump. Here we go. And then we need the showers as well. What am I doing with the water? We're going to pump it into a load of oxyfern plants, and that's going to be what produces our initial oxygen. Because we get a lot of them from this forest biome. We managed to... We managed to extract them all. Let's set this to priority 7. This is not urgent. That ladder can stay as priority 8. Um, but yeah, this is going to be our initial um, oxygen source for these first few duplicates. Because compared to an electrolyzer, the water going through the plumbed oxyfern um, doesn't generate a lot of extra heat when it's being turned into the oxygen. It's just gonna, it's just gonna, it's just gonna turn from water into oxygen at the same temperature. We're not gonna get any hydrogen from it for power, but yes, we need to include oxygen, exactly. <laughs> also, I think I'm just gonna build another layer of insulated tile here, because I don't want carbon dioxide accumulating here. What, what should happen is, this should stay sealed, and the carbon dioxide shouldn't actually go in here. 
because the water is going to stay here at this level and block the gas from flowing past this. So I think that should be fine. Right, let's speed it up. You guys just need to hurry up. That's all that needs to happen. And you need to do this before we run out of oxygen for real. Because um, there is more oxygen over here, but the level's already quite low down here, and this is where you're doing a lot of building. I don't mind you suffocating a little bit doing this task so that you can breathe less oxygen, but we are going to need to get this going pretty soon. Otherwise, we're going to start having issues. We only got a little bit of algae to use in this machine. Uh, we haven't found any more nearby, so this does need to happen immediately. So that pump is going to go here. The pipe is going to go up and around like this. And then we'll take off excess water and send it this way to the bathroom. But that can be on a priority 7. So that can go over here and then that can go in here. We'll do the same with the showers here. And then that plumbing pipe will go like this. I'll figure out how that's going to hook up in a minute. Is food a problem in this? We started off with a deposit of about 130,000 calories of fruit. We have got duplicates that will consume 7,000 calories per cycle's worth of food. So we're going to need to start thinking about that in about probably 6 to 10 cycles. We can plant some mealwoods to start with, but the mealwoods won't grow if it's too hot. So that's why we're focusing on insulating this area. But we do have a lot of dirt, so we're probably just going to do mealwoods once our initial food stop. But in terms of like problems that need solving first, oxygen definitely needs to be solved first. Also, this wire needs to go over here. We need to pump the water. The power. So it needs to go there. Okay. I think we just speed through it. Dupes know what they need to do. Now they just need to actually do it. Um, before they run out of oxygen. So that's going to be clean water. This is going to be polluted water. I think I'm going to do this pipe one level higher. So that can go like this. And then that will go into the sieve over here. And then the excess will go into the tree. And then the clean water will come out of the sieve here and go back into this. Recirculate. It's like a, like a month or a year. It's like a day. Oh, you're actually plumbing this now. We got someone who's actually interested in plumbing. Amazing. Well, yeah, you can do that first, I guess. Is a dupe going to want to pee? We got any peers? Feel like we might have some peers. No, maybe we're okay. I think you're going to trap your. Ah, you're not able to reach this. I think I'm going to have to actually deconstruct this farm. I'm going to have to let people in this way because otherwise they're going to take too long to actually get down there and breathe. Yeah, let the rest of that water through there. Yeah, the, the oxygen levels have been better. That's certainly true. Is it a long time gameplay-wise? No, a cycle is supposed to be like a day for duplicate, not a year. The pips. The pips have been wild and that's not good. Um, I think we just plant these immediately. Yeah, uproot this, plant the oxyperm. Stop the pips from messing about. Yeah, this is staying nice and cool now. It's good. Now, they won't grow until we start feeding them water again. How fast do they pass? Oh! Um, a cycle is 600 seconds. So it's 10 minutes on speed 1. That's how fast time passes. Yeah, keep planting those. 
Hey, Grey Area, how are you? We are doing a new run. We're doing we are doing banless only on Oasis, where we're not allowed to do things over there. The list, and at the moment the dupes are kind of like fairly short on oxygens, but we need we need them to get started on this. You need to do this immediately. How's the wire? Have you built the wire? You have. You do need to run that wire as well. You need to start pumping the water in here. Thanks for the sub. It needs to happen immediately. Thank you very much for the sub. Great area. Enjoy your advanced emotes. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for subscribing. But six months in advance. Blimey, blimey. I didn't realize that. I think I, I think I did realize that a while ago. That's uh, very impressive. Thank you. Uh, did you know that you've got a new emote? Uh, you can now do this emote as well. And you now get this emote as well. So you can post whiskers with heart eyes. New sub emotes. Very exciting. Twitch just seems to have given them to everyone. You'll still be watching in six months, probably. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. Thank you. All right, let's set this to priority nine. You need to roll on the wheel now. It's official. Because we need more oxygen down here. Or you guys are going to start having real issues. But you have managed to get everything here built quickly enough for the most part. So let's just... Yeah, let's just get that to run. Um, no, do not build this here. Do not want a insulated tile here. I don't think that is here. I think it's just a glitch. Yeah, that's just a glitch. Also, yeah, I saw that you subscribed last month, but I don't think it actually showed up on my subs thing for some reason. But I made sure that you were still in the video. I made sure that you were still in the video credits because I knew you did actually sub. Right, so we're pumping the water now. That's good. This water is nice and cool. As long as it's below 40 degrees, we're fine. And now these are producing oxygen. And now we've done it. The air is becoming breathable again. So you grow plants and water them for oxygen. Yeah, I mean, this is the one plant in the game that actually takes in CO2 and produces oxygen. And we should end up with a lot of CO2 down here. So this should be fine. We're going to want to make sure to open up the... the air around the plant as much as possible so that the CO2 flow isn't obstructed. And again, this little bit of water here should actually block the gas from accumulating down here. But it should be fine. And we'll, we'll probably pour a bit more water in there. Who knows? Also, we've got new principles again. What we got? Joya seeds. I love these. These are plants that give decor. Um, but they're not temperature fussy like most plants. Um, they'll handle between 0 and 100 degrees just fine. So we can plant these wherever we want uh, decor in rooms where it's variable temperature. So I think I'm going to take these. I don't think we need any of these duplicates specifically. You're not bad. Researching, tidying, and grease monkey. I think we do want the seventh dupe. Decrease husbandry is not the end of the world. You're not going to do ranching. Yeah, let's take May. Let's take May, and then we'll have a backup researcher. Yeah, I think that's I think that's important because we we were going a bit slowly on research. You could have field research now, so you can actually analyze geysers. Yeah, that's good. So you could be level two on that. You could prioritize operating as well and dogs bodying as well. That's good. Right, that's our seven dupes. We're not taking we're not taking any more dupes for now because that's how many dupes we can support with the oxyferns. But I think that's actually a good number. I think we've got. I think we've got the bases covered in general now. There might be one or two roles that we still need to fill, but I think we're in a pretty good spot. Do they breathe at night like real life, not produce oxygen? No, yeah. <laughs> the game is not quite that accurate, but yes. Duplicant is just taking a fresh breath in front of the plant. That's good. Yes, I'm relieved, because now we can actually set up the bathrooms in peace. So you're still doing the research on sanitation. That's good. Yeah, this will get finished a lot sooner now that we have two researchers. I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, plant this as well. You do need to dig this. Yeah, look at this. We've solved it. We've solved the oxygen problem. 
Now we just need to get more water. Right, the showers will go in here. And we'll build the showers first because they will be what we use to actually get the loop to run. We can remove the storage bin now that we've um, planted most of the seeds. This, this has been done. That's good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. We should be able to get the rest of this done in the next 20 minutes. Um, we don't have reliable power up yet, but that will happen fairly soon. We have oil wells down here. We do have trapped oil, so most of the oil is going to be is going to be in these oil wells. But this area down here is actually colder than usual. So we can come in here and grab this right away. And we may even just want to set up an oil well fairly quickly. We do have hot water. But obviously because we can't do liquid locks, we might struggle a bit on that. Yeah, so we've lots to think about. We have some refined metal up here as well. We should grab that immediately. Right, Nicola, you can have building level 2. Sinister Plank, you are almost at digging too, so we can actually get this water geyser hooked up today. That's good. Yeah, finish off these plants. May's got a balloon! We've got the Dracolip balloon. Ins inspiration for things to come. Give us more Dracos. Is this done? Okay, that has been clean. I'm desperate to get rid of this. Yep, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dig this up as well. Make sure the gas can flow, flow freely. We'll sweep this water up as well, just so that A, you're not getting it on your feet, and B, so that the CO2 flow isn't obstructed. Planted a forest on a barren planet. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, we started in the forest bit. We just subsumed it for our own needs. But no, I feel pretty good about that. Do they not want to plumb? No, they do not want to do the outhouse. I'll tell you what, I've actually used a plumber recent, uh, um, like a, um, a plunger recently to unblock our sink. And that was annoying enough as it was. I can't imagine having to regularly plunge a toilet. So this arbor acorn is going to consume our excess bathroom polluted water. Um, this will consume enough for 11 duplicates. But we'll probably just add more trees as we add more duplicates. Because whenever a dupe goes to the lav uh, lavatory, they'll consume 5 kilograms of fresh water and produce 11.7 kilograms of dirty water. And we're going to send that to a sieve. So yeah, the water is now going to the shower, so that will immediately fill up the loop. Um, so let's get the sieve. Here we go. And I believe that's the last thing we need. And you don't have to use a plant for the excess water. You can just put it in a liquid reservoir. But we have the plants and the temperature is right, so I'm not overly concerned about that. And I'll put I'll put a sweep errand down here on like priority one. So if the dupes get bored, they can come down here and do that. Oh wait, but they're then they're gonna have to wander all the way over there. Okay, hold on. Don't bother with that then. I'll probably move some storage bins over here later. But yeah, keep insulating this. I want to try and stop the rest of this sand heat from coming into the base. And we'll think about where the actual exit is going to be later. I don't mind this water getting hot. But you can see this water has already gotten quite hot. It's already getting to the point where it would probably start to be a bit questionable for oxyferns. So this is effectively what would happen if we didn't insulate it like this. And even then this insulation isn't perfect because some of this debris is still hot. But it's better than it was. Right, speedy up Whose mess table is this? This is a maze. And I'm going to put that tile there because it's annoying me. Mm-hmm. The ferns are like being hot. No, so the ferns will only work between 0 and 40 degrees C. So if we just planted them over here and it kept getting heated up by the sand, or we were feeding them hot water, eventually they would get too hot to 
row and then we would lose our oxygen source. So that obviously makes sense. It's not a constraint with electrolyzers because electrolyzers will take any water so long as it's actually in the form of water. You, if they're above 75 degrees C, you'd have to build them out of a heat resistant material. And the water, the hydrogen and stuff that comes out generally comes out above 75 degrees C. So if you're not actively cooling it, you will need to make it out of heat resistant materials as well. Now, you're probably going to seal yourself in here, aren't you? Yeah, this seems likely. There you go. I don't think there's anything too valuable over here. We'll just grab the rest of these resources later. Also, did I give you your skill point? No. Okay. Here you go. Super hard digging. So now, you can actually come over here and dig this at priority 9. We can let that water out here. And then that could be that could be priority nine for now because that's not going to fill up immediately. And then we'll want to seal this with a regular tile once that's done. And then the water will just pour in here until we decide to actually use it. Plants over forty C don't do very well unless they're specialized. Yeah, pretty much. Got some filters. Sludge press is not really needed at the moment. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. In December, the dev said we were going to get a new roadmap somewhere soon after the holidays. I'm so impatient for it. Ooh, that would be interesting. I would love to see that. Yes, open up the water geyser. Here it is. Um, we can't dig this yet. I'll priority nine dig this so that we can reach it once it's actually available. You're a little bit hot up here, but there's... The sand up here isn't actually so hot that it would scold the dupes, generally. So they're actually safe doing this. But they won't be safe once this geyser starts erupting. But no, I'm pretty happy with this. We're almost done. The showers, um, I believe... Yeah, they're, they've been feeding the tree. So people have been using the showers. In fact, we're probably at the point... Yeah, yeah. See, they flower is using a shower. They need the loot. I think what we do is after today we just deconstruct this and replace it with the lavatory. Yeah. Seems good. You guys probably need a bit more downtime now. Actually, you're making it. You're all making it pretty much. Ada's not gonna make it. No, okay. Let's add. Let's have one more downtime slot for now. <laughs> 42 degrees C is when most proteins boil and stop working. That's why a high fever is dangerous. Yeah, you're telling me. Hate having a fever. Right. Now we can remove these and put the water-based ones in. And we can start filtering this with the sieve once we've researched that. But that can come after this step. The important thing is that the polluted water from the um, dupes is just being handled for now, which it is. So that can go here and then sink, go here. Mm hmm. Still sneezing? No, not really. My throat is just, uh, it's not very hoarse, but it, I'm still coughing occasionally. But it, it, I'm mostly better now. But it's two weeks from when I had the feed. So it's like, it's not amazing. Yeah, finish that off and then we can do the research. How's the research going? It's going to take probably another cycle. That's fine. Yeah, this water is still heating up a little bit, but not too much now that we've got this insulated material here. This water is still heating up, though. Uh, let's see. What else would we do? I think we would actually go... Let's see. I'll put in the base levels as well, because we're going to follow that later. So I think what I'll get you to do is... Come over here and do this. We'll dig this whole bit out, just so you can reach all of this. 
Was it the disease? No, it wasn't COVID. I got um I got COVID tests. No, I'm quite pleased it wasn't COVID. I had COVID last year. I got it from family. I got it from like a party. Or no, my cousin came to the house after going to a party where people hadn't tested and hadn't vaccinated. So yeah, that was very smart. Um, you have now trapped Nicola. Nicola's fate has been sealed. You silly goose. There you go. At least Nicola can still escape. I'll, uh, think about that one later. Yeah, there we go. Lavatory ready. No more outhouses. What a relief. And let's see, it's probably worth just doing a ladder over here, isn't it? We can actually reach all of this. Yeah, I think that's worth doing. Uh, oh, you, I, I paid attention to this, didn't I? <laughs> Don't worry, just letting some nice 95C water through here. Look how quickly this built up without me paying attention to it. That's really not good. Oh, God. That's all super hot. Oh no, look! It's still, it's still leaking down here and it's going to make the plants too hot. God damn it. Yeah, look, they're already stifling. Oh, for fuck's sake. I had one job. <laughs> You're probably going to scold in this as well, aren't you? Oh, uh, come on. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. You have to do it. This is this is the last thing we wanted. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. There you go. So now that hot water can pour in that way. Yeah, look, they're getting too hot now. Oh god damn it. Right, sweep this all up. <laughs> uh. Oh, we got like five hundred kilograms of that stuff here as well. <laughs> Time for some epic merch. The plants die. No, they're not dead. They're just too hot. They'll cool down again. Because that heat is going to dissipate. But I did not want them getting that hot. Yeah, that would suck if they died permanently from that. I can't believe I forgot about that. We're just going to leave that hot water here. I'm not going to do anything with that. Yeah, we're still all right, but... Oh, don't do that. That was... I didn't even realize it started erupting again. Yeah, now all of that water is going to pour in here, and this biome is freezing, so... It could do with being warmed up, really. We're going to end up with a lot of ice in here that will melt again eventually. And we, we'll just leave this running for forever. Right, what's in the loot box, anyways? What we got? I haven't been paying attention to this. Got the hype sports gloves. So that's not very hype. Probably get one more in a bit as well. Yeah, okay, these are back to normal now. That's good. I mean this whole area has heated up. But that's fine. Right, um, so I think what we do is we just put a bottle empty down here for emptying random bottles of water. That's fine. The pips are going to still plant all the rest of the seeds up here if they can get away with it. That's fine. We need to dig this tree out. I guess just, yeah, I guess just finish the heat wall. Dig this tree out as well. And then I think all we need to do is go up here. And then that'll be fine. Yeah, and we'll just ladder straight into this chili biome. Because we'll probably want to grab the Wolframite and the Wheeze Warts immediately anyways. There is also some water down here. That's a decent amount. Oh, that's what you meant, Mip Boy. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Hmm. We're still doing the sieve. Let's get the sieve. And then we can 
Then we can disconnect this from the actual water because we need this for the plants more than we need it for the bathroom, really. That's not a huge amount of water. It's a good thing we've got this geyser here because we're going to probably need to actually reharvest this water sooner rather than later. As for the salt water, I think we just need to heat that up on something. And then... Then the condensed salt water that after it's been boiled can just go in here. Yeah, I think that's the plan. This plant is growing now because of the air pressure. Because there's polluted oxygen here. Because of all the polluted dirt. Yes, that could definitely go with going in a storage bin down here. Plants RL can tolerate high and unusual temperatures by closing their pores and breathing with stored oxygen, but that doesn't last long. Nope. No, it does not. Some of them are stifling just because they aren't getting enough CO2. Some of the CO2 is ending up in here. But that's okay. It's not actually flowing into this room. I want to put the fire pole in, but that can wait. Yeah, plants in this game can, game can definitely be withered indefinitely. Yes. Uh, actually, don't open that because that's going to pour a load of... Oh, do open that because it's going to pour a load of water down here where we actually want the water. The research. So, yeah, please do that. And I think we're just going to speed through it to cycle 20. We're pretty much there. I'll put a lamp here as well. We're going to hooked it up with some automation at a later point. So for now, that will just go here. And then we'll put a ceiling lamp over here. We'll use the faux pipe, because that's the lamp of choice for the bathroom, obviously. And this will speed up the duplicate's bathroom speed. But because our power isn't reliable yet, we're not gonna we're not gonna connect it yet. We need all of that power for research and stuff. But yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, I think our oxygen solution... We've solved our oxygen problem. Yeah, I like it. I think... I think maybe we have this as the thumbnail. Because we're showing off where the oxyferns are. We're showing off where our base is. Where we've got our nice little cool pocket. Where we've got the water geyser up here. And then just how we're actually surviving. Yeah, I like this. Maybe maybe we'll do that. Man, I love Oasis. It's probably my favorite map. It's just so fun. Always something interesting to do. Right, water sieve. That can go here. Then I can disconnect this. Mm hmm. Anything else that you're building, Priority 9? That could be Priority 7. Does Oasis have more plants? No, it really doesn't. Most of the map is this hostile sand biome that doesn't do anything other than feed hatches. But it's interesting because you start with so little, but you're still able to make a good colony out of it. But you just have to get really creative. Look at this big lump of cobalt here. This is clearly the metallic cave formation. What am I doing? Blueprint. We don't want any more dupes unless they're really good. We got a radiation eater. That's kind of funny. Nah, we'll just take a shine nymph. There you go. And I'm going to open this door so the shine nymphs can escape. Because I don't want them hanging out in here. Yep, okay, sieve is built. We do need sand for this. We have sand? We do have sand. And that is not something that we lack on Oasis. That's very funny. Right, okay. So now we can filter this water. And now we have a sustainable bathroom. So all this water can get pumped back into the plants. That's good. You just need de 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 radiation, that's what he does. It's very good if you've got a dupe that's going into space. It must be said. 
All right, I think we're pretty much pretty much there. Yeah, just finish off the heat wall and um Oh no, you're exhausted. <laughs> That's no good. Yes, you need to get to bed. Like you actually need to get to bed. I think we'll now give you an extra bedtime slot. You're exhausted? Really? No, that's no good. You need to get to actual bed. There you go. <laughs> you fell asleep. You were exhausted immediately outside your bed. That's not good. Yeah. So, what I often do is only set one bedtime slot to start with. As your dupes start wandering around more, you'll probably need to set this to two immediately just to make sure they actually get to bed on time. Otherwise, they'll get exhausted and then they'll waste all their time sleeping instead of actually doing something that day. So it's alright to have one bedtime slot at the very start when your dupes aren't running around everywhere. But as soon as they're going anywhere near vaguely far from their base, you do need to sort that out. Also, look, this water, this water is so much heat. It's already actually starting to melt this biome, which is good. That's what we want. I want all the ice to melt and for us to just grab, be able to grab the cooler water and the refined iron. Cinnabar mugs in DF, just a little pint of mercury. Nice. It's got skill point. Ada, you can have building level two. Sounds good. Yeah, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, let's put the off-gassable stuff down here so the polluted dirt can come down here. Heat wall is being built. That's good. You're getting that finished pretty neatly as well. We won't worry about this salt water for a while. Then, yeah, regular water... Already one, just empty that in there. Yeah, the seat wall is going pretty well, I think. I think you're exhausted as well. No. Stop being exhausted. I probably shouldn't even bother trying to do the one bedtime slot. Like... They might save a little bit of time early on, but as soon as anyone gets exhausted, all of that efficiency is gone. Yeah, I probably I probably just shouldn't bother. You don't need to disinfect this. Somehow, even though the polluted dirt is full of germs, storing it underwater doesn't actually cause the germs to go into the water. Not that it would matter here anyways, because we're feeding this to plants that are producing air. Yes, now all the polluted water is going into here. It's primarily being recirculated into this pipe. Uh, but the excess is still going into the tree. So this is what you want to do. And you want to set this up in a self-contained loop so that you never run out of water. And that it's completely independent from your other systems. So I'm pleased we've done that. Yeah, we're pretty much done. Heat pool is pretty much there. Yeah, you guys are getting idle now. You let that little blob of ice through. That's good. There's, there's like 36 grams of water stuck in that tile. That's not a problem. So yeah. I think we're done. So there shouldn't be any more heat transfer from the sandy part of the map. I don't mind the heat leak from here. Because odds are we're going to dig all of this stuff up. Exchange heat with space. Feed it to hatches. So I think that's actually not a problem. I think we're actually done. Yeah. Heat wall is done. Feels good. <laughs> nice little reward. Do they get mad if they get exhausted frequently? No, but I do. If they get exhausted, they get they, they wake up with a sore back, so they have less athletics for a cycle, and they spend they they recover stamina way less quickly when they're exhausted than when, when they're actually sleeping at bedtime. Even if they're sleeping on the floor at bedtime, if they get exhausted and they're sleeping when it's not their bedtime, they get a big penalty to their stamina recovery speed. So you, ideally, you never want them to be exhausted. Right, that's actually done. So what else do I give them now? Fire pole, probably. It's quite funny with the, the water geyser and the crash satellite. 
yeah, I think we're in a good spot. I'm going to save it here. So save it as... Banless Oasis. I might come up with a more catchy title, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty happy with how that's gone today. So, let me actually... Let me actually close it out. Oh, look, it's a pleco. Amazing. Did Whiskers ever get the spots? No, the loaches have been completely fine. The loaches haven't been affected at all. Blackos haven't been affected at all. It's just the platies. Even the Danios don't get it. But, uh, yeah. I mean, generally, they've recovered pretty well. Oh, look, there's Whiskers. Come on, Whiskers, say hello. Say hello to me. Uh, Whiskers, is too Whiskers is too busy trying to eat something. <laughs> but anyways, thank you very much for watching. It's, it's been an, an interesting start to a new Oni run. I think we're in a good spot. Water guys are going into a cold radioactive biome is definitely a good early game thing to have. Um, we will need to actively cool that at some point, but we, I think we're in a pretty good position to set up um, set up some food ranches, set up some hatch ranches for food, set up some pit branches for planting some trees maybe, while planting some trees, getting some more polluted water that way um, from refining the lumber. Yeah, we're in a good spot. We're probably going to build a full Rodriguez soon. So that'll be our oxygen solution that doesn't involve... Wow, Whiskers is really going at it. <laughs> um, that'll be our oxygen solution that doesn't involve the uh, submerged electrolyzers. So that should all be good. But yes, thanks very much for watching. If you like what you've seen so far, feel free to follow on Twitch and you get a notification when I go live. I usually play games between 7.30 and 10.30 British time. Oxygen not included is usually Mondays and Thursdays at the moment. But um, we're going to be doing it tomorrow as well. Um, we're going to continue this run tomorrow. Dice's Fit Program is often on Fridays, but I'm doing it every other Friday at the moment until they update Space Combat. Um, but that's been going well as well. And Mega Aquarium will be back on Tuesday. But if you do miss a stream, all of the VODs will be on YouTube. Uh, this one will go up tonight. I just need to figure out the thumbnail and stuff as well. Um, maybe it'll go up to, maybe it'll go up the day after. I still need to figure out what the thumbnail will look like. Yes, all the VODs go up on YouTube. There's a Discord group where we hang out as well. And we will, um, we will post, um, if people have more ideas about stuff to ban and want people to vote on them, please, um, put them in the banned only tricks thread on the Discord. And if, if a proposal gets enough votes, it will be considered to add to the ban list. The ban list only. But, uh, yeah. Do, do you get baby platies? I do, but Whiskers eats like 95% of them. So there's a few bait, there's a few platies that have survived in there up to adulthood. But that's mostly either by chance or because I've taken them away from Whiskers. Like, one of them survived because it actually ended up in the filter unit and it it grew into an adolescent in the filter unit, surviving off of whatever ended up in the filter. And then I rescued it and then it was too big for Whiskers to eat. <laughs> um, so the answer is yes, but no. Anyways, let's actually go raid someone. Who is playing Oni tonight? And that happen often too. Yeah, it's... I always find it surprising how fish can actually just live in the filter. Oh yeah, there's Whiskers again. Whiskers has been summoned. You're probably going to get a nice shot of Whiskers farting in a second. Right, I'll let Whiskers carry on with that. Um, we're going to go raid Neosa. Neosa is playing Spelunky 2. Um, fun little platformer. Only star graphics. Um, game I need to play more of. I need to actually get around to playing it on stream. Um, no, don't raid Spelunky 2. Raid... There we go. <laughs> yes, thanks for stopping by, Uglavisk. Appreciate it. Um, I will be back tomorrow with more of this. We might start a bit early. We'll see. It depends on how much time I have. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. And um, see you soon. Bye for now.